Alright, we should be live, I think. One final time before Elden Ring. Well, technically not one final time. Two final times, because tomorrow I will probably be streaming the second part of this run. Okay, let's get the chat up and that kind of stuff. And then we're going to get started. Uh, okay. See all the chats. I'm not going to leave any uh, specific time for uh, people to enter the chat because we have to go through the asylum anyway. You know, that's not part of the run after all. We can only acquire a whip after that. Uh, okay. Should be fine. Okay, already see some people in chat. Okay. Alright. Of course, the chat in a separate window. And then we'll get started. Oh boy. And we're only a few days away from Elden Ring. Can you guys believe it? Can you believe it? Wow. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling the hype uh, piling up for Elden Ring. Absolutely. That's going to be one hell of a, one hell of an experience. Okay. Oh, uh, I actually didn't make sure if the, you know, the, the notification on my screen. You guys actually cannot see that on PS5. Uh, you guys cannot see that. But uh, remember in Bloodborne when the notification of how many people are watching the chat was actually blocking my, uh, my HP and uh, stamina bar. Well, that's. Uh, Shouldn't be the case uh, this time, at least. All right. Three days until my specs are still not viable. You're talking about PC? Yeah, I heard that the, the specs for PC were apparently pretty high. So... Funi, first live viewing while I'm at work. Oh, you're allowed to watch uh, people stream uh, while you're at work? Then you have a good uh, type of job, I uh, suppose. <laughs> or people just don't really care. <laughs> I'm in disbelief. I won't believe it's true until I'm holding my copy in my hand. Oh, you actually have a uh, physical copy, to, a copy uh, ordered. Okay. Yeah, one downside of uh, doing a web-only run in this uh, in this game is that you don't have the dominatrix outfit. You know, when the, the people who saw my uh, smoke damage only run in uh, Dark Souls 3, at the end of that run, I made a joke about uh, doing a dominatrix uh, run. You know, with whip and with a very uh, soothing uh, type of uh, outfit. But that's just... Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, we find something that we can uh, sort of make work. So, obviously the run is only going to get started after the asylum. Because I cannot start with a whip after all. So, we'll just uh, use the scimitar until we get out of the asylum. And then we're going towards Blighttown in order to get the you know the regular whip which probably will be the only whip i use they're only free in the game after all but uh, you know the foreign whip is kind of out of the way and by that time i'll probably spend my uh, upgrade the materials already would be nice to use the sanctuary tail but that's too late in the game of course i still don't have a uh, gaming pc uh, lord alcatraz no i don't but I have the PS5 uh, version of uh, Elden Ring uh, thir uh, Friday, Thursday night. I will uh, immediately play it, of course, when the game is available at midnight. It should be available at midnight, so... Whip in Dark Souls 1? Yeah. I don't think I ever really used the whip... Uh, the only thing I know about the whip is that it doesn't have very good damage output, and you will probably get—I will probably get immensely frustrated by, uh, oh, by well, what what happens just now. Of course, that can happen with any weapon, but from what I understand, walls are the biggest danger when using a, using a whip. Because it has some sort of a weird hitbox on the left, where you constantly, when you even are remotely close to a 
to a wall, you automatically hit uh, the wall basically uh, with a web. So yeah, that's going to be fine. Voidnight place asks, I just want to ask how a few months ago you had like 1.5k subs? No, 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 no. I had at the start of this year, I had uh, 24,808. 1.5k subs, that was uh, quite a long time ago. But uh, yeah, especially, you know what, let's just uh, continue the actual gameplay. <laughs> but you know, February was looking to be one of the worst months so far. But then I released my... Uh, my whistle uh, playthrough. You know, the Bloodborne Madara's whistle only guide. And that massively turned it around. Because before that, uh, January was already uh, a downward trend. And then February came and just views went down by like 60%. It was pretty insane. But then I released the whistle guide and views went up massively. And especially new subscribers. So... I'm very happy about that. Okay, let's put my microphone a bit closer, by the way. How's the, how's the, sound, uh, the sound, by the way, uh, folks? So I have to make sure that like the game audio is not too loud, or maybe even my microphone too loud. It's also possible. So I can unequip my scimitar, because now we're, of course, going to... Uh, I'm going to acquire the, the whip in Blighttown. In the ancient leg You're not doing some ultra-specific frame-perfect eyes closed glitches, skip a silent demon and do whip only? Rather cringe in, in it. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, I don't even uh, know how the that uh, that plunging attack skip uh, works uh, on the silent demon. In fact, I don't even know if that's possible on uh, on console. It might be, I just don't know. Okay, let's first, uh, before we head down uh, towards Blighttown, let's first acquire uh, all the souls here. I don't think I actually... I started as the Wanderer, so I should already have enough decks at least, so that's something. But I definitely want to focus on uh, dexterity, because uh, from what I understand, the whip is pretty bad when it comes to damage output. And since I'm going to uh, use it only in my left hand, I cannot uh, two-hand it. So, no damage boost there. And that also means that I cannot buff it. So, no damage boost in that sense. Can I ask about your age? I'm 36. I'm an old man compared to the majority of my uh, viewers. How confident are you in this rip uh, run? Now, <laughs> pretty confident. You know why? Because uh, when I was doing the poll for uh, what my final video, my final scripted video for before Eldering uh, would be, one of the options was uh, Dung Pies and Skull Lantern only. And to put that in perspective, the Skull Lantern does only 10 damage per hit against uh, the DLC bosses. And, you know, Artorius, Calamite, and Menace. Cannot be toxic. So, do I know that the whip kind of sucks, but it's uh, nothing uh, as worse as uh, as absolutely terrible. Uh, oh, I've got one soul. Uh, nothing as absolutely terrible um, as the skull lantern. Hey, you're 37. Okay, so you're not. Uh, I'm not the oldest one here. <laughs> I thought you were mid 20 stops. Uh, well, first of all, I sound probably not uh, very old, but uh, I also don't look my age. When people guess my age, they always think that I'm much, much, uh, much younger than I actually am. So uh, usually people think that I'm like 24, 25, even though that's very much not the case. So let's already level up dexterity and then let's get the whip. <laughs> so, I'm doing whip only in front of a whole bunch of whippersnappers. <laughs> well, I do have some uh, people who are older. Agony, for example, he is, uh, I believe he's in his 40s. He's not in the chat right, uh, at, uh, yet. Maybe he will join later, or maybe he can't watch me. You know, it's Monday after all, so. Really love all your Bloodbone content. Thank you so much, uh, Darkester. 
okay. Let's hope I don't get uh, toxic along the way uh, towards uh, the web. At least it's not uh, really out of the way. So that's something. It's easier to get than power within. Which I might get power within at some point, you know, for the four kings. But I was actually thinking about just using a Havel strategy. I think my damage output will be enough. But we'll uh, see that when we get there. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. From the south, to be specific. Of course, I'm not going to be more specific than that, but... I'm just two years younger than you, continue. Okay. Yeah, I, I know that there are some people that uh, in my uh, audience that are either around my age or even older. But generally speaking, I have a pretty young audience. And a fellow, a fellow European, yes. I, I do have some Dutch, uh, Dutch uh, viewers in my, uh, in my subscriber base, which is nice. And sometimes I even, uh, sometimes I even put some uh, Dutch jokes in uh, some of my videos. After all, especially for those people, because of course, anyone who doesn't speak Dutch can't really follow that. Would be a lot easier to stream if you guys actually uh, learned Dutch and that I uh, wouldn't have to speak English. Oh, by the way, I should actually... Oh, I can do that on the way back. You know, to pick up the large titanite. Merk! <laughs> okay, what is your credit card number? Are you planning on doing any Elder Ring uh, challenge runs? Any? I'm uh, planning to do a lot of uh, Elder Ring content. Of course, I will first have to actually uh, beat the game. Just one question, is there anyone that recorded no soul run for DS3 with DLCs? Um, not sure. There are no upgrade uh, runs, of course, with uh, the DLCs. Even no upgrade, uh, no hit runs, so... Alright, hey, Melinda! The face of Melinda, Neve blackened hair. Uh, hey, uh... Can you not be in the way? Yeah, fuck. Oh. That's better. <laughs> actually, when I, I'm thinking about it, uh, I'm start I am started as the Wanderer, but isn't the Wanderer set actually up here? Yeah, not that it really matters, but... Will this one include DLC? Yes. Will you be streaming your Elden Ring playthrough? Um, no, I will, I will pre-record it. I Technically, I will be streaming it, but uh, that's just for easy recording. I will uh, stream privately. You know, th that's just an easy way to uh, to record footage. Otherwise, you have these large files and uh, audio files that you have to match it up with, and that's just a pain. Uh, can you please get out of the way? Thank you. But I will, um, I will be recording uh, my first playthrough. Oh, that was uh, the song I was saying. That was uh, Face of Melinda by Opeth. Very good song. I don't, you don't have black hair, as I can uh, tell from your profile picture. But uh, How did you learn English in the Netherlands? Your English is very good. Actually, a lot of uh, people over here, basically anyone over here, almost anyone, can speak, uh, speak English. Uh, why exactly? Well, that probably has well, that probably has several different reasons. First of all, I kind of grew up with that, which people not don't uh, no longer do uh, grow up with it in the same way, at least. But for example, when I was young, most of the car cartoons and uh, such were not uh, dubbed. Oh fuck! I'm almost toxic. Oh, we're not uh, dubbed in uh, in Dutch, so we had subtitles. So I basically grew up with uh, subtitles, of course, with movies. That's the same kind of thing. So it's the opposite with uh, Germany, where they literally dub everything, even porn. But 
you know, so in that sense, I kind of grew up with uh, English. And of course, nowadays, people grow up with, uh, you know, with YouTube and uh, such, so they have to uh, be able to speak uh, English. Uh, what version of these one do you play? This is uh, the, well, the PS4 version. I'm playing on PS5, but this is the PS4 uh, version. Okay, yeah, uh, let's actually equip the, the whip. Oh, and of course, in my left hand. Well, um... I'm going to get the grass grass shield for my right hand, so because of course you in the right hand you cannot uh, block unless you two hand. Uh, okay, there's a titanite shard somewhere here. Where again is it? Is it this one or is this a soul? Uh, it's a soul. So let's because that can be helpful, so that I don't have to. Uh, Make a trip down here when I want to upgrade to plus six. <laughs> German top porn, yeah, man of culture. Yeah, that's not a good type. That's not a good type. Uh, you uh, you hold the circle and then you can slide down another, so you double tap. Is there a reason for using a whip in the left hand? No, it's just a, a bit of a gimmick just to add something uh, to it. Because this is uh, not that much of a challenge run. It's just more of a chill type of uh, playthrough. Of course, the whip, <laughs> in a sense, it's a challenge run, you could say. Because the whip kind of sucks, but you know. Actually, what build will you uh, run first in Elden Ring? I don't know. In fact, I will likely, for that reason... Start as the rats, as the level one character. Not so much for ch uh, for added challenge, so that's not the, ch the challenge one with me speaking. But I basically like the idea of not starting with any equipment and not having any basically stats that incline towards a specific build. So, given that I know nothing about the game yet, I no don't know the location of any sort of equipment. So I'll just scavenge and see what I find. And I will let that uh, guide me to what kind of build I'm going to make. Hey, Motorfeast. Yes, I am streaming. A chill lance. Oh, 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 I can attack. That's right. Ooh, there's not a lot of damage. 14 by, uh, for a single hit. That's not very good. Of course, it's not upgraded yet. Or maybe I will start like the, uh, as the bandit or something. Because I do like the idea of... Oh, I don't need it. The idea of like dual wielding uh, bandit knives or something, but uh, I don't know yet. I will probably start as a rat. Actually, there was a specific video that uh, I watched that kind of inclined me to do that. I think it was styled "Pick the Rats as your starting class in Elden Ring," which was a very good video that actually explained what I just said about the fact that on your first playthrough, given that you don't know any uh, location of any equipment yet. That gives you a unique type of experience that you cannot repeat after you play the game once. And it's an experience that's unique to uh, starting off as the level 1 character that doesn't have any sort of equipment. So initially I was thinking of using uh, the Vagabond uh, starting class, but that's exactly the opposite sort of experience. Because that, I think, is going to be similar to the Knight class in... Uh, in Dark Souls 3, where you can essentially go through the entire game without worrying about any sort of equipment, because you can literally, in Dark Souls 3, start as the knight, don't pick up anything, and you basically have a completely decent uh, setup. I mean, you have a decent, uh, decent armor set, you have a good weapon, you know, straight sword, long sword specifically, you have a good shield, so basically you're set from the get-go, and I think the Vagabond is going to be similar. I do have to say, when it comes to the Confessor, that I saw, I, th that armor set looks very cool. But you know, starting off naked is also, uh, is also nice. <laughs> do you feel pressure to create videos to keep up with the algorithm? Yes, every, <laughs> every creator does. Yes, of course I do. That's just, uh, that just comes with the territory of you know, being a content creator on YouTube. So yes. Views and uh, such, your analytics are constantly on your mind. That's just uh, what happens if you are a YouTuber. 
Okay, the Grass Crash Shield, that at least, even though I cannot really block with it in my right hand, unless I two-hand, is still going to be useful for the extra stamina. Didn't expect to see another video before Elden Ring. Well, actually, I didn't really uh, plan on doing... I basically just decided this uh, yesterday. I wasn't uh, thinking that was a good idea to do the lantern and uh, dunk pie only uh, run because that would probably take uh, a long uh, time. So that's not a quick playthrough like here. Oh, wait, I have to unequip something. What is your favorite DS3 covenant? Uh. None? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really think about Covenants, to be honest. Uh, that's more of a multiplayer thing. Uh, Rosaria's Covenant, because then you can reach back, even though that's not really tied to... The, well, eh! Don't disappear. Oh, the stamina, I thought, actually, that the stamina consumption was really low on the whip, but... No, it's not low. You see, it's high. It's a half my stamina bar. Is that different in the left hand? Let's actually check it out. Yes, it is. That's weird. You use double the amount of stamina when using the weapon in the left hand. Well, that's peculiar. And kind of a downside, but hey, it's what it is. <laughs> yeah, the Vagabond starts with uh, pretty amazing stats. And it actually starts with, uh, with a, I believe, with a sword and a halberd. And the halberd sounds pretty interesting. But you know... As I said, I'm probably just going to scavenge and see what we'll uh, what we uh, discover. Oh, whoops! It's a pretty slow attack and not a lot of damage. Fuck! I probably won't be able to kill him before the other one shows up because I do want the, the wolf ring. Because if this attack, uh, you know, it's kind of slow, so some poise will probably be very helpful. And I definitely need to upgrade as fast as possible and get my dexterity stat <laughs> up. Left hand uh, weapons have a stamina penalty. Yeah, apparently. Even though uh, this game didn't really have uh, left hand uh, wielding uh, yet. Oh, whoop. Jesus. That guy is doing uh, more uh, with his whip hands, so to speak, than my... Uh, Leather whip. I guess wh uh, whips are more meant to have fun with, but you know, that's that's the thing with whips. The chat, righty versus the virgin lefty, yes. Makes sense if your character is right-handed. Yeah, I suppose it is. I'll be doing a bleed build. Well, yeah, then yeah, I believe that if you start with either the bandit or the... Samurai, you should have uh, uh, a bleed weapon. I don't know uh, exactly if the bandit, uh, the bandit's knife is the same as in Dark Souls, uh, Dark Souls 3 or in this game. But the katana at least should uh, uh, allow for bleed. And if the bandit knife is the same, then that would also be uh, a bleed weapon. Do it without the puppy ring, you won't. So you mean the, the wolf ring? I actually quite rarely have to... Whoa, the, <laughs> that's going to take a lot of hits. I quite rarely actually pick up the wolf ring, I must say. No, no, I'm not playing with just one hand. My character is uh, left-handed uh, in this uh, run. It's just a little added gimmick. Well, actually, it is more than a gimmick because apparently I'm using double stamina now. I cannot two-hand. I cannot do rolling attacks. I cannot do strong attacks, and I cannot buff my weapon. Because buffs can only be applied to the right, uh, right hand. Oh, you're after the Reduvia. That's right. That's, uh, that's a bleed dagger from the, the network test. In my first run in Elder Ring, I will search for the Moonlight Greatsword, and I'll use it for the rest of the game. I suspect... That that uh, weapon is not going to be available early on. 
I mean, who knows, but that's my expectation at least. Can you buff her whips normally? Yes. I think so at least. I'm not aware of that being impossible. I mean, it doesn't really make sense to set a whip on fire, but then again, does it make sense to set a wooden club on fire? Not really, right? <laughs> I'm gonna try to do a faith build. I also had been uh, thinking about like starting with the confessor because uh, it just it, it looks really cool. But uh, as I said, if I start with uh, with the rats, then basically my build can be anything. I mean, you start with 10 uh, at 10 in every stat, so depends on what I'm going to find. I have no idea what I'm going to find after all, so hey, if I find some interesting spells, then who knows, maybe I will actually go for a spellcaster. Maybe I will find some interesting incantations and I will uh, level up faith, who knows. Or I will just do pure melee like I uh, usually tend to do in uh, these type of games. I don't know yet. And you know, that's actually part of the fun, that you don't know. It can be anything. Whips can be buffed, but only if it's in your right hand. Yes, that that makes sense. Isn't Faith finally good in Eldering? Well, I do know, from, at least from the network test, that uh, spells, like magic, is going to be probably very overpowered. Of course, we don't know if the network test is really the same as... Uh, as the final game, it probably won't be, but who knows? I'm especially interested in uh, whether Arcane is going to have specific functions that we d are not aware of yet. Because from the network test, uh, we can conclude that Arcane is basically like luck in uh, Dark Souls 3, so not extremely useful. But we don't know uh, that yet, of course. Maybe there are all kinds of weapons that have like specific. Uh, um, you know, uh, arcane uh, requirements or something. Who knows? Or specific spells that skill with arcane or whatever it may be. Okay, that's too much. And I can get one from the from that knight, so let's buy eight instead of nine. And a weapon smith, a smith box. I cannot uh, buy also a repair box because I think the durability of the whip is actually low, but let's take a look. Uh, I already uh, depleted 10, so basically uh, I think I'm going to go through the durability quite quickly. It's just kind of weird in Dark Souls 1, but you know. I just finished up my first challenge run today. You inspired me to do one. What I learned was it's crazy how much one person can hate himself. <laughs> so what exactly did you do, uh, Fat XL? Just started to binge your Evil Within Akuma playthrough. Oh, yeah, that's from uh, the first year. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's from back in uh, 2018, I think. Yeah, that was one hell of a playthrough. That is such a difficult game. <laughs> that is definitely one of the harder, uh, hardest games I think you can play on the PS4. That uh, <laughs> basically it warns uh, it. Oh, I forgot to actually level up. Uh, Okay, well then... Okay, well, actually, I should... Uh, well, not level up, I mean upgrade my uh, my web. Because I bought the Titanite, but... Uh, when it comes to the backstep animations and that, I don't think the animations were placeholders. I doubt that. I mean, it's possible, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I did hear that uh, the HUD, actually, you know, the game looks... Quite different, but don't know that specifically how different. Okay, and then one final uh, Titanite shard from that uh, giant knight. I'm trying to finish BL4 before Elden Ring comes out. So, where exactly are you now in your playthrough? So let's see how the damage is different now. Well, I didn't actually test it out on these uh, guys before. 
But we can two shot hollows now, so that's something. Of course, I cannot perform a backstab because that's not. First of all, you cannot do that when you are using a weapon in your left hand anyway. But whips specifically cannot do any sort of repost. So you cannot do a backstab. And after a parry, you also cannot repose with it. So. Is using the weapon on the left hand weaker in DS1? I actually don't know if it's weaker. We did figure out, because I didn't know that, that you use double the amount of stamina. Oh, and we also figured out that the weapon actually has a pretty slow animation. It does have a decent amount of reach, so that's something at least. But whips are not specifically uh, popular because they just aren't that great. Okay, that's the final shirt for plus five. Oh, you've just beaten Amelia. Oh, so you're early on in your playthrough. Well, good luck then. But that damage wasn't that, that bad, I must say. Of course, we're early on in the game. When hardcore DS player says the, g says the game is hard, I immediately imagine something like, I want to be the bossy? That doesn't exactly... Uh, is it, I want to be the guy or something? That was like an old... Uh, or no, like not old, like a few years ago, like an indie game that was uh, supposed to be like insanely difficult or something. Are you going to try the Guardian Tail this run? Probably not, because at that point then uh, I have a fully upgraded uh, regular whip and... Uh, Probably not uh, any uh, upgrade materials for that one. Uh, reinforced weapon. Don't get yourself no and I just don't have enough for the repair box. Okay, well that's a shame. Well, at least... Uh... Oh! Huh? Oh, we, I just upgraded the, the, the whip, so then it's automatically repaired. Okay, that's right. I have a DS3 SO1 playthrough and haven't beaten Frida or any of the Ring City. Yeah, that's uh, it's quite a different uh, difference in uh, difficulty between uh, the main game when doing it on SO1 and the DLC. I mean, that's quite a difference. So I can definitely understand that. Yeah, there are three uh, whips in uh, Dark Souls uh, 1. So you have this one, the regular one. You have the notched whip, which does bleed damage, but unfortunately it's in the painted uh, world and uh, you have to... I think you have to like get invaded by uh, a specific NPC. So I'll probably just stick with the regular whip. At least we have it upgraded now, so that's a good thing. So next step is going to be to uh, free Lord Trek from his cell. So let's hope that uh, the walls are not going to be uh, an issue here in this uh, hallway here. Well, at least there's, by the way, there's one benefit to a whip. Not only, if, uh, it's true that you cannot repose with it, but you also cannot get parried when using a whip. You know, these Baldur Knights there can actually... Uh, or is the, the big one, the ball, well, whatever. These uh, Baldur Knights uh, can uh, parry you, but when you're using a whip... They cannot. Well, at least I have somewhat of a reach advantage here. Oh! Careful. By the way, did I actually equip the... I did not equip the wolf ring. That was uh, not smart. Now, the thing is, when I'm streaming, I usually forget things. Well, I <laughs> always uh, forget things, actually, when I'm not streaming. But you know, I just easily get distracted. Uh, the whip is uh, in Blight Town. It's actually quite easy. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I uh, someone on my back. He's trying to backseat. Hey, here. I play the way I want to play uh, Young Hollow. No, it's you don't. Uh, the Sanctuary Guardian Soul actually cannot be turned into anything, which is kind of weird. But. Uh, you get uh, his uh, the guardian tail whip you get from uh, cutting off his uh, tail. 
You know, because it is literally... Oh, boop, it's uh, literally his still, after all. So, makes sense. You really should make a smoke cosplay run. Uh, the reason I wouldn't do that is because I already did Iron Golem. Uh, so that would be a very similar type of uh, playthrough. I'm doing my first Monster Hunter World run and I was doing it armorless, but the Lagiana broke me so I wore some armor. I'm sorry I have disappointed you, Brad. Oh boy, that was one of my first uh, series on the channel. Which unfortunately never took off. Well, actually, looking back, it's a good thing because presentation-wise, that series was absolutely awful. But content-wise, I think it was uh, very memorable. But yeah, that's a bit like doing a Soul Level 1 uh, run on your very first playthrough. So that was quite, uh, that was quite a run... Uh, through Monster Hunter World without armor. You haven't received your uh, PS5 yet, Melinda. Oh boy. That sucks. So you actually have to wait uh, for Elden Ring, or, do you, uh, or are you going to play it on PS4? A Dommel run would be fun to watch. What uh, weapon does he use? Because I actually don't know what weapon he uses. Uh, this is the remastered uh, version. Uh, so the PS4 version, but played on PS5. Does anyone really even like DS2? I like DS2. It's my least favorite Souls game, but it's still uh, I still like it. I'm definitely not uh, a part of the group of people who uh, hate on Dark Souls 2. I mean, I uh, I have shown it quite a bit of appreciation, I think, uh, with the several types of uh, playthroughs I've done on uh, that game. Okay, let's uh, kick a uh, track. We can still kick. Oh, actually, we do a shield push. That's right. If you have a shield in your right hand, where you do the kick. You get that uh, shield push. I am grief. <laughs> so it's not not a canonical uh, death of Lord Track because he's not uh, kicked off the ledge; he's pushed off the ledge. <laughs> What would be a good start for a Dark Souls 1 player in Dark Souls 2? What would be a good start? I don't know, just approach it the way uh, you want to approach it. I I would say that Dark Souls 2 is the... In, I, in Dark Souls 1 I tend to use a shield still to this day. Generally speaking, of course it depends on the type of play to, uh, playthrough you're doing. But generally speaking I still tend to use a shield, but in Dark Souls 2 and 3... I hardly ever use a shield. Almost no, almost never actually. So maybe when you play Dark Souls 2 you shouldn't focus on uh, shields. Or it shouldn't. You don't have to, I guess. Uh, okay, let's first equip the fab, uh, the fab ring. I don't have to go through Undead Burg to get the Gold Pine Resin because I cannot use it anyway, so... I think we'll just immediately go to the gargles. So let's get our damage output up. The scaling is actually pretty good. Look, 151, 155, 59. It's pretty good. Elden Ring pre-download starts tomorrow. Yeah, it could be. I can one uh, get get one more level this way. Well, I am still at base vitali uh, vitality, so that kind of sucks, but we, di we did get a little bit of a boost uh, from uh, from the fab ring. So let's just uh, go towards uh, the gargles. Yeah, 
Hey Press, did you ever think uh, to do a crossbow run on DS3? Crossbow with no scaling, it should be quite interesting. I have a, I actually originally thought to do it in this game or in Demon Souls. <laughs> in Demon Souls, it's very painful. But you know, people unfortunately don't really like want to see uh, Demon Souls apparently, which kind of sucks. Probably has a lot to do with the botched uh, PS5 launch. Because I think the Demon's Souls uh, remake in a sense kind of failed, but not because of the game. Simply because of the the PS5 launch that was completely messed up. Because I think it's simply that it's not that people aren't interested in Demon's Souls. I think they are just, the majority of them haven't played it. And that's uh, basically the issue. Oh, hey. Damn it. Yeah, let me go. Pass through. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. How was your shield in Bloodborne? <laughs> yeah, in Bloodborne, uh, the shield is not uh, not great. Yeah, the Demon Souls remake was very good. I like Demon Souls. Uh, what is the best class for a no death run in Dark Souls? Um, I guess it, it doesn't really matter that much. I guess simply the warrior. I mean, you start off with uh, with a good shield and uh, good stats. I would say that's a pretty good one. Do I need something specific? No, I don't because I cannot buff anyway. So. Oh yeah, I did pick. Okay, good. Well, let's just see how this goes. Let's see if I can hit the till. Okay, that was not the till. 85, that's not <laughs> that's not great. Oh, that's some counter damage. Sorry, instability uh, damage or whatever. I know it's not literally called counter damage because that's a thrust attack thing. But you know what I mean. Okay, I can't really hit the tail. Come on, tail. That's better. Ah, fuck. Oh, that was not good. That was not good timing. Okay, I'm not going to be able to kill him before the other one showed up. What was my first Souls game? That was Bloodborne. That was the first one. Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2. I think... Whoa, 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 not good, not good, fuck. Okay, that was, uh... That was not good. <laughs> I got stunned like to death there. I wasn't paying attention too much. You can play the original in 13 FPS at, uh, in a PS3 emulator. I don't even have uh, played a PS2 emulator. PS3 emulator, that uh, requires a pretty powerful PC, I think. Will I uh, be playing Elden Ring on quality or performance mode? Uh, performance mode. I want to make sure that the frame rate is uh, solid. Yeah, I died, sorry. Sorry, guys. Oh my god, I finally got to catch one of your streams live. Well, thank you for being here, uh, Shrindel. Of course, my constant uh, problem with uh, pronouncing people's names. But you know, that's how it goes. Okay, I should pay a little bit more attention this time. Probably going to get stabbed in the back again, but... Yeah, okay, I got lucky. Oh, and now he's blocking the way. Come on, don't, don't, don't. Thank you. <laughs> my PC is probably a lot more ancient than yours. Also, it's the size of my external hard drive, so... That's another thing. It's very much not uh, suited for uh, for gaming. Come to think of it, it's not that suited uh, for video editing either. <laughs> so in that sense, that is a downside, <laughs> even for a console player like me. Okay, that's definitely going a lot better. Ah, fuck. I got greedy. I thought I could finish him, but... Okay, let's... Well, let's heal before I can get the final hit in. Okay, now I... 
get out of the fire. Oh, oh, he's creating fire himself. No! Son of a whore. Oh, actually, that was my opportunity to uh, get the final item, but I missed it. Shame. Damn it! He dodged. How did that miss? Okay, well. Oh, pfft. All right, that's better. <laughs> All right, <laughs> hopefully you will get a better PC. At some point I, will pro I probably will, but you know, uh, gaming PCs are very expensive. So that's a bit of an issue. Now the damage is not that bad. I mean, it's not great, but... <laughs> I mean, uh, a plus five weapon with lightning pine resin uh, two-handing uh, and, and two-handing it would do much, much more damage, but it's not terrible. But again, this uh, this was just meant as a, a fun little final playthrough before Elden Ring. It's not meant as a very uh, complicated uh, type of challenge run. Uh, I can use the other uh, whips if I want to, Shrindle, but I probably won't. Hey, I love your videos, and for Demon Souls, I just buy a PS3. Well, the original is content-wise at least the same as uh, as the remake. Greed is death in Souls Ring. Yeah, you should never get greedy. Of course, in uh, in Elden Ring, I'll probably get. Uh, um, hmm. I actually want to go towards Capra Demon, so I need the key. So let's go down manually. Oh fuck! Then of course all the hollows are in the way. Well, that's uh, that's fine. Hey man, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing very well. Uh, are you going to make videos or stream Elden Ring? Um, I'm uh, going to pre-record it. <laughs> Using the stream function just for ease of... Uh... Can I actually hit him? Uh, <laughs> he hit me, but I didn't hit him. Okay, that's uh, fair. So I am going to pre-record it. And uh, I will... What I was thinking about doing... Why, why can't I hit them? What I was thinking of doing is to, uh, after like two days or something, make uh, part one uh, public, and then keep all the other videos in that series unlisted. That way you guys' uh, subscription, subscription feed won't get uh, overloaded with like, uh, what, uh, 40 hours or even more of footage. And anyone who wants to watch it... The, I hit me for, through the wall here. Of course, Elden Ring is going to have that as well. We all know that. I mean, that's just from software. So, I will probably have one public part and then with a link to the entire playlist in that single part. At least that's probably how I'm going to approach it. So, the people who want to watch, they can watch it. The people who don't want to watch it, don't have to. I do expect that my first playthrough is going to be very lengthy because that game is simply going to be much, uh, much more massive than uh, the previous titles. I use <laughs> I used whip in the left hand for some of my dex build. This stream feels like an attack. <laughs> okay, what's the specific reason? Because uh, I don't really understand why you would do that. <laughs> Are you Bosnian? You sound Eastern European. I'm Western European. I'm Dutch. So, no, I'm not Bosnian or anything like that. What are your thoughts on the Blood Moon D-Make? Well, actually, I could have played it because even my potato, my potato PC could run it. But I don't know how to record it. So, I actually kind of skipped out on it. But it looked cool at least. It looked very cool. It was very well made. 
Yeah, imagine if uh, Bloodborne actually came out back in the PS1 uh, era. Oh, well, okay, now I have to... <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, the hitbox is a bit weird on the web, but at least you have some reads to work with. Gonna tail cut Sanctuary Guardian and become unstoppable? Well, that doesn't make you unstoppable because that's the worst whip, even though you can get it uh, very late in the game. <laughs> if your PC couldn't run it, that would be a problem. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good point. Um, in Elden Ring you can power stance, but I assume that you will uh, can uh, that you only can uh, power stance uh, weapons that are similar enough. Press, what's your number one tip for players that want to get better, more patient with Souls games? Uh, yeah, patience. That's that is more of a mindset. That is not really something. That is something you just have to learn from experience. I uh, I would uh, say. A tip to get better. Well, basically, every time you die or every uh, time you make a mistake, you have to analyze why. Why did you get hit? Why did you die there? Because it always has a specific reason. And that allows you to get uh, better at the game. Um, you know what? Let's uh, go the long way around uh, towards uh, Capra Demon so that uh, we can include the Taurus Demon. Of course, now we have a plus five weapon, so we will be doing very good damage against him. But that's basically the best tip to uh, get uh, better at the game, is to understand when you do something wrong, why that uh, was wrong. Every time you die, you have to understand why you died. And that will help you improve. But when it comes to patience, that is a mindset. I don't think I can really help you with that. All right, 30 decks already. <laughs> so after that we can uh, focus a bit on uh, vitality, I think. Or actually stamina also, because now I'm using double stamina after all. Have you played the Nightfall mod? No, because I haven't played any mod, because that requires a gaming PC. And that's exactly what I don't have. By the way, 278 people are watching. That's uh, a lot of viewers. And that for just a simple, uh, well, relatively simple... Final playthrough. But thank you all for being here. I appreciate that. Hey, the Helgesia. What the Helgesia? Took you this long to uh, get to the stream? Well, actually, we haven't uh, done that uh, much yet, of course. Were you inspired to use a whip only for Quillac or Guinevere? Maybe for Gwendolyn, who knows? I know I was just thinking about something that uh, not too complicated for a quick final uh, stream of the of the game. So I came up with uh, the whip. I was uh, another idea was uh, to do uh, spin to win, <laughs> like uh, Halbert R2 attacks only or some. Oh, yeah, let's not uh, mess with that rat because of the wall. I don't want to get poisoned along the way. This all bosses run kind of depends on uh, how much time it's going to take. But it will include the DLC. It's possible that this will be a relatively uh, short stream depending on how fast uh, we progress through the game. So that I can like evenly distribute my time in this run between tonight and tomorrow night. Because I won't be able to uh, do it in a single stream I think so. So depending on how much uh, pros uh, progress we make tonight, I will decide where to quit and then uh, finish the rest of the playthrough tomorrow. Oh, oh I was looking at the stream. <laughs> Uh, you can uh, you can get uh, the whip early by simply going uh, down and towards. Uh, hey, pff, pff. let's not die before reaching the bonfire here. Actually, I forgot something. 
That's right. I uh, it's been so long since I just regularly upgraded uh, a weapon. I actually forgot to pick up the what's it called the the rubbish, you know, to trade for a titanite chunk. I completely forget. Yeah, that's been ages since I just did a run where I just regularly upgrade a normal weapon. So that's all the way back. Damn, I completely forgot about that. Also, what did I get from... Oh, I oh, I did get a large titanite shot uh, from that. Okay. Because you can also get a chunk from that one lizard in... Uh... So I have to make sure that I get enough titanite uh, chunks, of course. Damn it, that might mean, if I get unlucky with, uh, with uh, the drops from the crystal lizards, that I have to uh, go down the Great Hollow to get the final ones. Also, I'm not going to farm for large titanite shards, so I'm just going to uh, kill uh, Quaylike with whatever my weapon is at that point. And then uh, get the final ones from uh, Sense Fortress. And then continue onwards from there, which does mean that I will uh, be using a, a plus 10 whip against ONS, so that, uh, that's going to be fun. I'll probably uh, do very b uh, poor damage in that uh, fight, but we'll see uh, how that's going to go. Okay, so there's the rubbish. It's not DS3, Agony. No, it's not. <laughs> By the way, hey, Agony. We were just talking about you. <laughs> yeah, not really. We were just talking about people in the in my uh, subscriber base that were older than me. And you are a clear example of that. Do you going to focus mainly on Elden Ring? Yes. Uh, do you have any other games in mind? Well, um... Elden Ring is going to take up a lot of time, and uh, I do, you know, the problem is when I uh, do other games, then uh, basically your view uh, view count goes down massively. So that's always uh, very risky. Maybe, maybe, uh, you know, uh, Horizon 2 uh, came out uh, a few days ago. Maybe like a very hard spear only run or something in that uh, that game. But you know, by uh, by the time I can even think about doing that, I think a lot of people have even forgotten about that. So, who knows? We'll see that when we get there. Oh, I should not forget about the Black Knight, of course, for another Titanite chunk. I mean, I will watch whatever you upload. Yeah, my uh, my core audience will. But other than that, of course, whenever I do something other than uh, than uh, a from software game, then uh, views are going to be down massively. I mean, I did one. Uh, well, actually, a little more than that if you count the Doom live streams. But I did, you know, uh, the Neo Replicant uh, hard difficulty no damage uh, guide. That never really went anywhere. To be fair, I didn't really expect it to, but you know what I mean. Oh, that's something weird, right? You can parry with a whip. You can't repost, but you can parry with it in the left hand. I don't know why, but you can. What is the why? Oh, that is the 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 visual effect from the wolf uh, from the wolf ring, which uh, gives me a bit of uh, poise. What are you going to do if your viewer base never follows you over when you play different games? Some Souls creators never stop playing these games, and I honestly don't want to see that for you. Uh, yeah. I did very much notice that my channel, the moment I started to uh, focus solely on Souls games, my channel growth, well, oops, hey, God damn it, my channel growth went up by a massive amount. I mean, variety is that. That is basically the the one tip that you can get from you know those uh, channels that focus on uh, how to grow your YouTube channel. I mean, you don't really get much uh, useful information from that. But one thing, they 
definitely all agree on and are right about. Fuck, okay. Oh, that's that, that chunk. Good. Is that variety is that. Don't diverse, uh, don't be, uh, have any diversity in your content. That's the best way to grow. Because I did that the first three years or so on my uh, channel. And, uh, well, we have seen the results uh, from that. Very, very slow growth. And then you focus on one thing in particular. And then you see that your channel grows much quicker. So why is the whip in the left hand? It's just an, a little gimmick. But it does have actual impact. Because I cannot buff it. I cannot two-hand it. And I cannot do like rolling attacks or strong attacks. Which may actually against the four kings kind of suck. Hopefully my damage output at plus 15 will be good enough against them. Of course I can use a Havel strat and that will make quite a difference. <laughs> Akuma difficulty helped me become better at Evil Within. But even then, that game is just so unfair that uh, you will get fucked over. No matter how much experience you have with it. That's just the nature of that game, unfortunately. Now, whip isn't that bad. It's uh, Compared to other weapons, it's actually, it, it is pretty bad, but... It's not like a disastrous type of weapon. Um, I actually should go here anyway, because, you know, uh, there's another Black Knight that I need to kill for, uh, for a Titanite Junk. Yes, you will die a billion times in combo mode, yes. Yes, you will. Oh, by the way, I can actually level up, I kind of forgot about that. Or maybe I should actually focus on some health. Uh, we'll do that later. Yeah, it doesn't have any crit damage. Yeah. Press you should play The Last of Us 1 and 2. I'm one of the few people on the planet that did not care at all for The Last of, Last of Us 1. Of course, then The Last of Us 2 came out and then uh, there was a whole controversy about it. And I was one of the few people who didn't care about it because I didn't care about the first one. But yeah, I know that pretty much everyone on the planet loves The Last of, uh, Last of Us 1. I've tried to start that game twice and... Basically, to like 10% into the game, I just quit the game. I just didn't care about it. Oh, that was too early. Yeah, in <laughs> left-handed combat looks weird, that's true. I would be very interested in seeing Crossbow only in Demon's Souls PS3. Well, first of all, if I would do that, it would be on PS5, of course. And that is a very painful type of playthrough. <laughs> because the crossbows in, in Demon's Souls uh, are absolutely awful. You can't upgrade them and they, don't, and they don't scale with anything. So they suck. Well, technically there is one that has scaling, that has magic scaling. But it is a very rare drop that is very hard to get when you can only use a, a crossbow to begin with. By the way, I already have to take a piss, unfortunately. So yeah, that's kind of uh, my thing. <laughs> it uh, unfortunately kind of is. So I'm first going to take a piss and then we're going to uh, kill the Black Knight on top there. But, uh, you know, to... Fuck, I cannot really parry uh, the, the Ultra Greatsword version. Well, we'll see that uh, later on.
All right, and I'm back. Okay. Okay, so let's get that uh, Black Knight first. Unfortunately, I cannot really parry that guy because the timing on the Ultra Greatswords I don't really know that well. Well, I can't repost anyway, but... I can also lure him down. Maybe that will actually help if I lure him down. Because there's not... Oh! There's not a lot of space uh, to fight him here after all. Oh, fuck. oh, the tracking is pretty extreme on that uh, that stab. Oh, ooh. yeah, you know what? Maybe I should lure him down because there's not a lot of space <laughs> on that little tower. In fact, it's even possible to fall off uh, that tower. Pissing is your fingers, uh, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, is he actually following me? Ah, well, da, 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 da. So at least we have some more space to work with here. So at least one advantage of the whip is that you do have quite a bit of reach with it. Although it's kind of deceptive, it's uh, not uh, very easy to tell how far it reaches. Okay, load, uh, I haven't leveled my vitality yet, so I have to be a little bit more careful with powerful enemies. Okay, so we got one more chunk. We need seven in total. I only have two yet. Huh. I only have two chunks at the moment. I did kill that other... Uh, I thought I... No, I did not get one from the Crystal Lizard then. Fuck, I don't want to go down the, the Great Hollow. Because you have one on the terrace. You, um, you have two in uh, Sense Fortress. So that's five in total. I get one from the rubbish. Where can I get another one? Crap. I think I will have to go down the Great Hollow then. Shit, that's not good. Uh, the basic weapon is in uh, Blighttown. It's near the, the ladders. You drop down and then you get, uh, you can find it. Uh, I will probably only be using the base web because the other, uh, the uh, sanctuary uh, tail is uh, very late in the game, and the notch web is, uh, you know, in the painted world. So, and by that point, how many enemies? Can even bleed to begin with, so I'm not sure if that's going to be very useful. Dragon Dogma, yeah, I've heard only the name, I know nothing about uh, that game. So I think I just got unlucky with uh, the Crystal Lizards because uh, I, uh, I'm short on one uh, Titanite chunk without going to the Great Hollow. So that's kind of a pain in the deck, because then we have to go all the way down there. But as I said, I will probably just uh, upgrade my uh, my whip to plus 15 after Analondo. <laughs> so that does mean uh, plus 10 uh, weapon against ONS, but I think we can make do. Oh, oh, there's another one. Ah, crap. No, not dogs. I hate dogs. 
<laughs> Why do I say pain in the deck? <laughs> Is that such a weird thing to say? Hey Bertrand, how's the run going? Uh, well, we uh, haven't made that much progress yet, but it's going fine. And we have uh, leveled up uh, Dexterity to 32 already, so... That's after the great... What? what? Yeah, I don't know of any other uh, easy-to-get uh, Titanite Chunk. I just got unlucky with, uh, with the drops on the Crystal Lizards. Because none of them uh, dropped... Uh, a tighten the junk for me. Oh, uh, I shouldn't turn my back towards these guys because they can backstab you after all. I played Bloodborne for the first time about two months ago. Dogs in it can suck it. Yeah, I hate dogs in all of these games. Absolutely. First Black Knight... What? First Black Knight didn't drop a chunk? How is that possible? He always does that. That's a guaranteed drop. 100% uh, certainly. You cannot buy uh, chunks from blacksmiths. That's not a thing. So I think I just got unlucky when it uh, comes to the Crystal Lizard, so that means I will have to go to the Great Hollow. Oh, again, I'm turning my back towards these guys. That's not smart. Nice, I should have watched the beginning later, but did you rush Blight and without any kill in order to get a whip? Yes. That's exactly how we did. It's basically like uh, when you try to get uh, power within. But then you don't have to go all the way up. Okay, let's uh, first open up the sh shortcut back towards uh, Firelink before taking on Capra Demon. Taking on his dogs, I should say, because those are the real enemy in that fight. Fuck. I was a little afraid of the wall. <laughs> yeah, okay, that doesn't work. No one sells chunks, no, that's correct. I'll probably just have to go uh, to the Great Hollow then, but yeah. Shame. No, no, not Dark Wave Farm. That's even worse. But that's just something that can happen because the, um, the Crystal Lizards don't uh, have uh, any specific guaranteed drops. They have basically different uh, versions of what they can drop. I don't... Wait. Do I have purple? Maybe I should get... Oh, I do already have purple moss. Okay, then I don't need anything here. No. There's nothing I can use. Dread. <laughs> You have the Lord Vessel then? No, no, we're not, <laughs> not that far yet. What game do you think has the worst dogs? Uh, Duck Hunt. <laughs> Duck Hunt has the worst dog. <laughs> well, Taurus Demon and Gargles. Gargles are also already dead. So now I'm going to kill uh, Capra Demon and then... I'm going to get a large amber, and afterwards I'm going towards Quilag. And if we don't, uh, if we need any more Titan chunks, I can get those in uh, Sense Fortress. Is it actually worth it to farm for pickaxe in Darkest One? I would say no. <laughs> oh, hey, it's one more. Ah, by the way, now all those hollows are dead. I can have, uh, can uh, get. I can get an easy uh, extra thousand souls. I assume basically anyone watching already knows this trick, but in case you don't... 
That guy, uh, you know how depressed he is? Well, oh fuck, there was actually another hollow here, that's not smart. But the guy is so depressed, he just walks off. Which is funny because uh, the uh, because Petrus does not do that. Only that guy does. So that's, that just goes to show how incredibly uh, depressed that guy is. Of course, this entire world is uh, filled with depressed and suicidal people, but you know. We can make use of that, so that's a good thing. Ah, uh, almost. Uh, no, maybe I actually have a poppable soul. Poppable soul, that sounds weird. I do. And <laughs> he set the safe word, but he kept going. Yeah, exactly. You know what? Or. Let's get a bit extra vitality, which can be helpful against Capra Demon. Or against his dogs, I should say. <laughs> does Lotrek do that too? No, he does not. But of course, we can kick him off the ledge. So that's <laughs> the world is full of the past people, so that's a good thing. Yes. I did not kill uh, Petrus. We could do that, but then after Capra Demon, then you get uh, angry NPCs there. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice uh, start. Oh, the tracks waypoint cannot go that far. I actually never tried that, but that that uh, that makes sense. No, this will not be an edited uh, video. This is just. Uh, Basically a random live stream uh, just uh, to do one more final uh, live stream before Elden Ring uh, releases. I don't want to say uh, uh, that it's to say goodbye to Dark Souls because that will probably not happen. I mean in the previous title, when the previous titles came out it's not like uh, we forgot about the one before that. Oh fuck. But at least for quite a while, I will be focusing exclusively on Elden Ring. As you would expect. Ah! Almost could, uh, could get him. Oh boy, now I actually have to... Uh, Get past these dogs. Maybe I should actually put something on. Oh, I'm still too heavy, I think, because I didn't level up endurance. Is the wonder? Uh, no, I don't think I can. I can. Ah, huh. that's actually surprising. Elder Ring is out. Not yet. It's uh, Friday. Well, first day, n midnight, so to speak. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, well, that's dog number one. Quick. Yeah. Oh. Well, ooh. Ah, no, no, no. That's not good. Damn it! Why can't I hit them? The hitbox on the whip is kinda peculiar, I must say.
Okay, guys. I'm no longer his whipping boy. Now he's mine. Alright. So, now we have to go down into the depths in order to get the large ember. <laughs> Whip that bad boy. Exactly. The dogs are the real boss. Yeah, that, that is true. That is true. In fact, so much that I hardly even know what uh, Capra Demon's uh, exact moveset uh, are. So how many times he swings his uh, sword. Or his machetes or whatever. I'm not spamming this is my name. Wow, that is a very specific and very lengthy name, I must say. You thought I never uh, that I'm uh, never able to uh, to pronounce people's names, so yeah. Hey, he's actually coming up here. Hey, Dick, you're not allowed to do that. Every time you stream, there are more and more viewers. Yeah, that's true. Three hundred thirty-six. I don't think I ever had that many uh, viewers at the same time. Well, of course. I have uh, grown since uh, the previous uh, stream, so... My time, your name is Ass, yeah. Press will eventually do an Elden Ring community run? Who knows, maybe? Sounds interesting. Hey. Oh yeah, that's right, you cannot roll through these. Oh boy. Torch hollows. Actually, don't they don't wield torches? It's actually nuclear fusion or something that uh, that's happening. If only you could wield that uh, instead of the torch uh, from Dark Souls 2. <laughs> hey, the butcher is uh, very aggressive today. He usually doesn't get uh, up here. The, the you actually normally have to go down. By the way, what is what is he wielding in his left hand? What is that? Looks like a sort of giant uh, metallic toothbrush. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell what it is. It is yeah, there's like a stick with hooks on it or something. It's not a meat hook. I mean, that would make sense. Ah, it disappears when, uh, when he goes down. Shit. So I don't know what that actually is, what he's holding in his left hand. <laughs> it's a marital aid? Sh sure. Sure. Uh, Dark Souls 2 torch only run when? Uh, CP, didn't you uh, didn't you uh, get a notification uh, back then or something? Because I actually a lot of people did uh, say that. Maybe that's the reason why that video didn't do so well. But I did uh, torch on emulation only uh, in Dark Souls 2 uh, recently. Oh boy, we have a uh, we have a uh, a bot in the chat. Do we have? Um, I mean, Motorfears uh, and Coney Game are in the in the chat, so we have moderators. So can someone? Uh... Okay, oh, that's already done. Okay, very good. Uh, not a timeout, Coney Game. Uh, a bot needs to be banned completely. Okay, now you did it. Okay, very good. Why there are bots? You said it's a whip. <laughs> I don't know where those bots co come from, but they are unfortunately very common in the, when uh, when you're streaming. Oh, oh, that is not a dog here. That's right. Uh. And another one. Yeah. How far does the whip exactly reach? It's pretty hard to tell. Um, I don't think I need to go down into the depths because I don't think there's anything of particular use there. Nah, I think it's just whole bone time. Then we're going to make a quick stop at uh, Andre, of course. And then we're going towards Quealike. <laughs> oh, I do have a sack that I can put on my head. I mean... A lot of people have uh, recommended uh, that I do that in real life, but I don't think those people really had my best intention. Uh, maybe they did. It's open for interpretation, I uh, suppose. 
Uh, it's going to be all bosses, uh, well, at least with the DLC. It kind of depends on uh, time, uh, whether I will do, like, for example, Gwendolyn or Gaping Dragon. And uh, usually my version of all bosses is all bosses minus Gwendolyn, uh, Gaping Dragon, and Priscilla. But we'll see uh, tomorrow, because um, I will not be able to finish this uh, run uh, tonight after all, so... Tomorrow night will be uh, the rest of the run. Back from the Vadi lore video, uh, you know the one uh, he just released uh, of Elden Ring? Because I saw that one too. Of course, when I'm going to, uh, through my uh, first playthrough of that game, I'm not going to be focusing on lore. I'm just going to try to survive. I'll leave the the lore to people like him. Yeah, that that's true. Gaping Dragon doesn't really take that much time. But we'll just see it uh, when we uh, get near the end of the run. No, a whip cannot backstep and cannot repost. Okay, let's give the amber and let's upgrade the whip. Oh, plus eight, so that's not bad. Oh, and I should get the repair box because the whip does deteriorate rather quickly. You're a Brit? No, I am not. I'm Dutch. What type of build do you want to do in Elden Ring? I have no idea yet. I'm probably going to start as the Wretch, as the level 1 character, so that I start without any equipment and I'll just see what I come across, because in your first playthrough there's no way to know where anything is yet. So we'll just see what happens. So who knows? By the way, do I have... I can actually get another level, I think. No, no, I'm not going to do a level 1 run on my first playthrough, no. Definitely not. That's another thing, by the way, for a level 1 run. We have to figure out, of course, what is going to be the best weapon in Elden Ring for a rune level 1 run. There's no way to know that yet, of course. <laughs> Dutch, is it true you guys wear wooden shoes? No. No, we do not. What about falling attacks? Uh, you also cannot do falling attack. Uh, no, I d no, I don't think you can do a plunging attack with a web. Pretty sure you cannot. Well, I do think that strength a strength build in Elden Ring is going to be very, very effective because uh, contrary to Dark Souls One, where uh, you have to, uh, or where equip load is uh, based on endurance, it is actually based on uh, strength in Elden Ring. And of course, given that postural damage is going to be very important in uh, Elden Ring as well, heavy weapons are going to do much more posture, dam d posture damage than dex weapons, I think. You did a BL10 run for your first Bloodborne run? That sounds uh, pretty hardcore. <laughs> All Dutch people wear klompen, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, they put it back to Endurance, really? It wasn't in the network test, so they actually put it back to uh, Endurance. Oh. Isn't that interesting? Oh, really? I didn't know that. But that's quite interesting. Oh, also does better. Oh, uh, Pikachu's. Another one of my uh, handful of uh, Dutch viewers. I do still have quite... Uh, Quite a, uh, more than uh, you would expect. Yeah, exactly. Well, actually, I think it's a good decision that they put it uh, back to uh, endurance because otherwise, strength would basically be a little bit overpowered, I would think. Because you have on one stat to make a, uh, to make uh, a tank build, well, two. Of course, you have to also uh, level up your HP. Oh, another Dutch person. Astvlgl. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, I don't want to go back up. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah, some of my viewers will get uh, the Dutch jokes, yeah. Like the Sinterklaas uh, references and that kind of stuff. I think Elden Ring will be easiest because of the open world factor. That made... M but that can also uh, mean that you... Uh, randomly go to an area that basically uh, has uh, a higher level requirement, so to speak. Who knows, we'll have to figure that out uh, once, uh, once we get uh, to the lands between. I'm German, so okay. So, well, that's at least uh, sort of close enough. Also, hello, Oak Nederlander. Hey. Viter. Yeah, actually, I think that it was a good decision in Dark Souls 3 that they introduced uh, Vitality as the equip load uh, stat. The stat I'm most curious about in Elden Ring is, of course, Arcane, because uh, based on the L uh, based on the on the network test, it basically is uh, it is regar regarded as of now as well. Whoa, 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 whoa! I almost fell off. As the most uh, useless uh, stat, you know, basically like luck in Dark Souls 3, that only has very specific uh, uses. But who knows, maybe there are going to be all kinds of uh, spells and whatever that uh, have specific arcane scaling, or maybe even weapons that have uh, arcane requirements, who knows. All I can say is that based on the network test, arcane seemed like a relatively useless stat. But we, of course, don't know if that is going to be the case in the final game. Yeah, exactly. We don't have anything to compare it with. So that's why we cannot draw any conclusions about Arcane yet. Do consumables skill with Arcane like they did in Bloodborne? I don't know. I cannot answer that. I don't know. It would make more sense if, like... Uh, like throwing knives uh, skill with dexterity because that's usually what uh, they skill with or not at all in this game they don't skill at all or do they no i don't think so i don't think any consumer in this game uh, skills with anything You torch yourself all the time for content, now you do this? I swear you're a masochist. Well, this is actually not even really much of a challenge run. <laughs> That's basically why I chose it for the final playthrough before Elden Ring. Wasn't lightning super OP in the network test? I don't think it was. Magic was, not lightning. Oh, actually, I should have healed the, before going in. Oh, whoa! I'm stuck. Not good. So, how's the damage? 81. Eh, that's acceptable. It's not high, but it's... It's doable. It's not that bad. Oh! I have to be careful, because there's lava on this side. Oh. I wonder if you can actually hit... Uh, you can't really reach high with uh, the whip. Because it would have been interesting if you could actually... Hit Kui like yourself with uh, with the whip. But you can't really aim it upwards. I'm getting a really bad uh, lava pattern here. Okay, let's go to the other side of the arena then. Do you have a Discord server? Actually, I don't. I don't really know that much about uh, Discord. I've never actually been on a Discord uh, server. But some people have mentioned that before, and I said oh, I would look into it, and I actually never did. But that may be something for the future. Oh. Kind of the wrong side.
I call bullshit on that lava moving uh, sideways. <laughs> but that happens sometimes. I heard about talking out of the side of your mouth, but spinning lava out of the side of your mouth? Spitting facts out of the side of your mouth, that sounds uh, interesting. Will amount of damage only run be... Uh, uh, no, because that's not possible. We already know that that's not going to be possible. Because the horse is only available in the open, in the, in the open world itself. I'm sure that eventually there will be like PC mods that allow you to use the horse anywhere. So it's possible that at some point a run like that will happen, but... From what I understand, the horse cannot be used uh, just anywhere, only in the open world itself. So no, horse only is uh, not uh, possible as far as I understand. <laughs> Press will do it with the horse mounted on his back. <laughs> Why not? If that's uh, going to be possible, then yeah, sure, I will carry a uh, torrent on my, uh, on my back through the entire world. <laughs> The lightning strike weapon art was super OP because there was a glitch where you could spam it even when you ran out of FP. Well, if it was a glitch then it's probably not going to be in the final uh, version of the game. Uh, I did not sit I did not sit at the bonfire, right? No, you know what, I'm just going to kill uh, Ceaseless and then uh, warp back uh, using Homer Bone. Also, Angie is not in the chat, so we don't really have to visit him uh, at the moment. What are the bell toll sounds? Uh, basically because I'm online, I think. Oh fuck, now I said that the bo- I just- <laughs> Okay, in that case, uh, when we go back, we uh, are going to light the bonfire at the fair lady. Okay, that was kind of stupid. <laughs> I'm glad there are still people who want to go into the new game seeing nothing before. Well, I have seen something, but I don't want to uh, see everything, of course. Old Dabbits die hard, yeah. Exactly when I did my, uh, when I did my uh, no bonfire run. You really have to force yourself to not accidentally sit at a bonfire. That's actually one of the difficult uh, things uh, about that type, uh, type of playthrough. Yeah, I reverse psychology myself. That's kind of true. Well, but uh, you cannot... Uh, the point is that you have to sit at the bonfire if you want to warp to it uh, later on. So now I accidentally sat at the bonfire uh, anyway. So I, uh, on the way back, I'll just uh, activate that bonfire. So that I can warp back to it later on. I play on uh, PS4, yes, that's uh, that's true. I thought the Soulsborne service was shut down due to a security exploit, but I just hear a bell. Uh, apparently it, uh, that's not the case. Oh, it's only on PC, okay. Did you ever do Yamfa's challenge? Of no death, no bonfire. Well, it's not Yamfa's challenge. That is uh, literally uh, one of the only challenge runs that are specifically uh, put into the game by the developers, developers themselves. But yes, I have the two uh, illusory rings, yes. But I never made a video on it. Especially because there are already multiple videos on uh, no death, no bonfire guides in, uh, in Dark Souls 2. 
In fact, that is one of the reasons I did a no death, no bonfire guide for Dark Souls 1, because that is much rarer. Who is Yamfa? Why do I keep seeing him everywhere? <laughs> Yamfa is one of the most subscribed to uh, Dark Souls Challenge Runners. So he's very well uh, known uh, in the community. He is almost, uh, at, he's almost at a million subscribers or something. <laughs> now finish Dark Souls while holding your breath the whole time. Sure. Sure. No problem. <laughs> Mom found the lava sock, what the fuck? Uh, okay, you know what, let's just get to 40 dexterity. <laughs> I do have Quillax Soul now. Oh wait, I, actually I should uh, spend uh, Quillax Soul by uh, feeding it to Fran, because then you get uh, more souls uh, that way. Fan uh, of the videos, love from Italy. Laura Pistoi, Pistoi, Pistoia or something. So you're not uh, the only Italian here then, uh, Laura, because Agony is also uh, Italian. Which is pretty cool that I have viewers from literally all over the world. Including from my own, own country. He just discharges his scissors, basically. No, the Illusory Rings uh, was not on PS3, because I never uh, played uh, Dark Souls 2 uh, on PS3. Come to think of it, I could also kill her for the Estus uh, Flash thing. Yeah, sure, why not. Sorry, Angie. Well, he's not in the chat anyway, so I don't feel so bad about that. <laughs> of course, he was in the chat, then he would uh, start complaining, of course. Come to Brazil. Well, what I just heard uh, from someone is that in Brazil, the, the Brazilian, or the Portuguese uh, would that be, I think, Portuguese word for, uh, for uh, pupa is pupa. It's actually pupa in that language. So that makes Br Brazil... And by extension, Portugal, I uh, suppose. Automatically completely awesome. Why did I do that for the Firekeeper Soul? Uh-oh, now people are, uh, people are angry at me. Oh, poop is also poop and Spanish. Rather makes sense, because those are... Quite, uh, kind of uh, related languages. And Puba means but in Polish. Uh, just a bit more childish way. Well, we have uh, a word like that in, uh, in Dutch as well. Bips. So, if you want to know a more... Uh, a sort of a little more childish uh, way to say uh, but in Dutch. That would be Bips. That doesn't look like a gaming channel? What? Oh, by the way, now I'm here, I might as well go uh, to the Great Hollow. I mean, I set up the bonfire anyway. Because I am still short on one uh, Titanite chunk, after all. <laughs> I'm from the land of knife crime and tea parties. Okay, yeah, you're from England. I recently got into your Bloodborne streams and videos and they really helped me get through bosses faster and they were a joy to watch. Well, thank you so much, uh, Rumjakker, <laughs> or whatever. She was dying anyway, yeah, that's true. She was being very uh, miserable, uh, actually. Also, she was blind, so uh, she couldn't see that uh, it was us anyway. 
Poopa means kiss in Romanian? Wow. That word means basically very different things in very different uh, parts of the world. Now you don't uh, you don't kill Solaire, but uh, the fair lady is fair game, if you ask me. That's my opinion. Love your vids, thank you, uh, Ashian. She was blind. That makes it okay. Yeah. That butterfly armor run was legendary. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. What does Poopa mean in your language? Well, actually, it doesn't exist in my language. So that's a, that's a shame. That is a shame. So no. And uh, the actual word, you know, uh, pu uh, you know, the actual word pupa, you know, as in uh, the what well, is the chrysalis stage of a butterfly. In uh, Dutch is uh, pop. Pop, yeah. It is. Actually, uh, the stamina ring, yeah. Now I'm here, I might as well pick up the stamina ring, I suppose. Oh, I don't fall down. Okay, good. Probably not even going to use it, but still. And <laughs> Prescottier is now trademark. Yeah, poopa, yeah. In a way. Uh, what are the regular... Hey. There's a regular... Uh, there's just a crystal lizard here. Hey, 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 don't disappear. I can't hit him. Ah, oh, come on. That is some bull. Yeah. Okay, what is a regular titan chunk? That's a red one. Maybe that one. Ah yeah, that's a normal normal one. I have three now. Oh yeah, three. Um one from the rubbish. Two in Sand's Fortress, and then one on the Terrace, that would be enough, but given that I'm here anyway, there is a second one here. I don't know which one exactly, but... At least one of these pickups is uh, another regular Titanite Junk. I actually think it's the one of the lowest. So it could be that one that you see there down below. I think this is a white one. Yeah, that's a white one. I actually didn't even think about doing a uh, different upgrade path since I cannot uh, buff anyway. But I suppose that, you know, given that it has pretty high dexterity scaling, that I'm better off. Fuck, this is actually not good. Damn it, can I reach that? I don't even think I can reach that. So this is not a good place to be. Fuck. I kind of got, got myself stuck. Uh, almost. Uh-oh, I don't want to get cursed. But now I still missed it. I think that is the, that's the one I need. John and Andy still didn't finish rings, uh, ring damage only. He still didn't finish uh, the Gill only run. He has been doing that for like a year or so. so uh, I think over a year. I don't know. When did he start the Gill only uh, run? So he has a lot of uh, unfinished stuff. <laughs> you can buff the whip if you use mascara. It gives you longer, thicker lashes. Okay, that one is clever. Okay, so how do I fall down the right way? Oh, th this makes sense. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get cursed. Damn it, I don't know how to fall down. <laughs> ah, don't curse me. What the fuck? Ah. Damn it, now I'm going down again, and it's not what I want to do. Oh, he falls down. Good, that's better.
But how do I get... Yeah, how do I get... No, you can't get up here. That's not good. Come on. Yeah, whoa, whoa. That almost went very, very wrong. Okay, now let's find a way to fall down the right way. Yeah, that's not it. It's too high. Oh, that's a blue one. Okay, this should be the right way. So that should be the... The second regular Titan at Junk. No, it's not! Okay, you know... Oh, well... Ah, I don't want to get cursed. Okay, then I don't know where the other regular Titan at Junk is. But we don't really need it because uh, if we can... Uh, if we get uh, the one from the rubbish... Uh, two in Sans Fortress and uh, the one on the terrace outside of the giant blacksmith, then we have enough tight tight chunks anyway. Alright. <laughs> Andre only run is hilarious to watch. Yeah, I suppose it is. What platform are you going to play Elden Ring on? On PS5? Uh, okay. Oh, wait, by the way, I can actually level up to 40 decks. We're at uh, the cap for dexterity. So now we can focus on uh, vitality and endurance. Are you going for plus 15 web? Yeah, but uh, after Orange in Osmo. So we're going to fight uh, Orange in Osmo with a plus 10 web that you cannot buff. So that's going to be uh, going to be nice. All right, now I have to go all the way uh, back up. Always nice. But at least now we can directly go to uh, Sands Fortress, so that's a good thing. What about the Notch Whip? Yeah, the problem is that I first need to get the doll, and then I need to uh, actually enter the painting, and then I need to fight like an NPC uh, there, and then I need to have upgrade materials for that one. I don't think that's a smart idea. And uh, near the end of the game, there's hardly any boss left that uh, can be uh, that uh, can bleed anyway. So I don't think I really have that much benefit uh, for that uh, for the notch whip. Any fight you're dreading? <laughs> A little bit ONS, but yeah. Um, well, Nido. I guess I will just have to use a Hevel uh, strategy on that one to tank the, the skeletons, or otherwise I will have to get the Ring of Fork and the Slumbering, uh, the, the slumbering Dragon Crest Ring and to use it that way. Because I cannot uh, kill the skeletons after all. And four kings, I simply don't know uh, how my DPS is going to be. I suppose if if I really don't have enough damage output, I can of course get uh, power within uh, or something. But if I use a Havel strategy, I think uh, it should be uh, it should be fine. Uh, Steve is not a difficult fight anyway. Now, Nido also isn't, but the, the issue with Nido are simply the skeletons if you cannot, uh, if you don't have a divine weapon. Yeah, <laughs> when in doubt, Havels. Yeah, that's, that's kind of true. Ah, by the way, I can actually switch out. Ah, do it like this. Is Power Within coming back to uh, 
I think you want to say back to Elden Ring. We have no idea yet. Who knows? We uh, don't. Uh, well, I have seen some footage already from uh, from uh, spells that were mined out of the out of the network test, and I think that a lot of my challenge runs are going to focus on uh, on spells because they they really went wild with uh, the magic system in that game. So I think there's going to be a lot of fun to uh, that we can have with uh, the spell system in uh, in Elden Ring because they have some really spectacular type of spells. Yeah, you could make Whip Divine, but you know, that's uh, that's a bit of an issue. I'll probably just try to uh, use a Havel strategy uh, on Nido. Divine Whip for the meme? <laughs> what possible meme is there uh, surrounding uh, Divine Whip? Hey, <laughs> Eldering Bubbles only run, yeah. I'm sure that's uh, that's going to happen. Yeah, that's also a possibility, uh, Revy. But then you have to break the fab ring. Of course, I can uh, I can also decide to do uh, Nido last. I usually do that, by the way. Poison Mist is back. I've seen a stream. Oh, oh that's cool. I also seen uh, a snake uh, shield that uh, that actually can attack with the snake and then do uh, poison. So that sounds uh, really interesting as well. I think there's going to be so much potential for challenge runs in Elden Ring. I mean, the a whole variety of, of uh, spells, the the, the, in, the immense variety of uh, weapon arts. You know, the Ashes of War system. I think the I think there's so much uh, variety uh, in that game. So I think uh, that when it comes to challenge runs, there's a lot you can do with that. So I'm very excited about that. Don't have your expectations high, people. The game can be bad. I doubt it will be bad. I really doubt that. I suppose it's possible, but... Will there be a ba band for Elden Ring? Oh, <laughs> you mean like Bloody Band-Aid? Who knows? Maybe there will be. Can't wait to, pl uh, to play as, de as Depraved. Yeah, Depraved, exactly. I uh, cannot reinforce any further at the moment, but of course we have three large titanite shards in uh, over here. By the way, did I buy the repair box? Okay, I do have it. Oh, by the way, I did just... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's continue into Sense Fortress. I think I... Cannot imagine that Elden Ring will uh, be will disappoint. I suppose anything is possible, but I absolutely don't expect that's going to be the case. I think the game is absolutely going to blow us all away. That's what I think. I think there are going to be a few downsides, like uh, the mini bosses. I think there will be several mini bosses that will bit like uh, will be a bit like uh, uh, Chalice uh, Chalice Dungeon bosses that are kind of forgettable. But you know, in a giant open world like that, I don't mind that. I think that the regular bosses, you know, the, the real bosses of the game, given how well um, uh, Market to Fell Omen was, I think those uh, fights are going to be absolutely epic. So I'm not worried at all when it comes to Elden Ring. And <laughs> we got the drip with the whip. Oh, uh, oh fuck, now he is too far. Yeah. And I'm noticing that uh, my damage is definitely dropping uh, off uh, at this point. So I think that... Um, I think that uh, against ONS, I will have a bit of an issue uh, there when it comes to damage output. Of course, I could get my weapon to plus 15 before ONS, but probably, probably not going to do that. Oh, 
Oh, oof, was not quick enough. Yeah, it's a shame that I cannot backstab, but that's just the nature of a whip. And even, by the way, even if I could backstab with this weapon, when you have it in your left hand, you cannot uh, do any uh, critical attack. So I'm at plus 8 now, I think. Or, yeah, plus 8, yes. Do you think there will be fun covenants? I don't know. I uh, also uh, don't really use ma multiplayer in the other games. So, oh, damn it, that was not quick enough. Wow. That's weird. Elder Ring should bring back Rally. Uh, well, it doesn't have it by itself, but who knows? Maybe there will be like an Ash of War or something that will uh, allow you to use uh, something like a Rally system. It could be. Because it does seem that Elden Ring is like the amalgamation of all previous titles, including Sekiro. So who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. I also wonder how my damage output is going to be against the Iron Golem, by the way, because uh, whips are not very good against armored enemies. Give you a ring that... Well, you don't have rings in uh, Elder Ring. You have... Uh, was it Talisman? Yeah, Talisman. But that's basically the equivalent of the ring system. But who knows? We don't know... Uh, we don't know what we can expect. Are you going to infuse the whip? No, I, I'm following the regular upgrade path. I mean, uh, going for lightning, for example, would uh, destroy uh, uh, all the benefit I just got from uh, leveling to uh, 40 decks. Okay, there are two more. Yeah, we see, I have 40 decks now at the moment, so... This guy tends to drop uh, Titanite Shards as well. Oh, ooh, no, that was not smart. That was not smart. Hey, <laughs> both of us drink. Both of us are like, oh, we need a drink. Well, now we're drinking buddies. I mean, drinking buddies tend to give uh, each other a hard time, so... Of course, you need different type of bodies when it comes to whipping each other, but yeah. Well, we're whipping boys. Well, I'm a female character, of course, but... Uh, up well, he does like to smash. I mean, I like to whip, and he likes to smash. Ah, no, not, not another drink. You already had enough. See, that's another large start tonight. I really want to see how far I can go with a stealth-based build in Elden Ring. <laughs> I plan too much... Uh, to, I play too much Medicare Solid, and that inner snake uh, calls uh, me. That's a good question. I think there will be a lot of areas that will probably make uh, make it possible to uh, sneak through. Which will be interesting for uh, pacifist runs, I uh, suppose. Uh, I'm one short, but I can buy... Uh, I can simply buy another Titanite shot now. I want a girl to drink with me and whip me. Ah, uh, who doesn't? Can you even call it friendship if you don't try to bash your friend's skull with a mace? Yeah. Friends can hurt each other more than enemies can. Okay, that's the final one I need. Then we can take on the Iron Golem. And I'm quite curious as to uh, 
how much damage I will be do I will be doing against him. Also, how well you can stagger him with uh, with uh, the whip. That was very sad. He doesn't. But yeah. <laughs> that was a very sad. Who doesn't? Yeah. I, I see what you mean. Okay, we're at plus ten. Yeah, I'm just going to use the plane whip uh, probably. First of all, I haven't picked up the doll yet, so I cannot uh, go to the painted world uh, when we get there. And of course, the guardian tail that's uh, in the DLC. So. <laughs> Snake eater run only stealth arrow and snake shield. Well, that's an uh, that's an interesting one. That's definitely an interesting one. I like that idea. How do you feel about the ability to charge spells and various attacks with no extra FP costs? No extra FP costs? I don't think... Is that correct? I thought that if you charge a spell that it actually uh, drains more of your FP bar. Are you sure about that? Oh, by the way, I need to kill both giants. I kind of forgot about that. Well, I can get. I guess uh, we can go to uh, come back for the oh, ooh, for the other one once we get well, ooh, well once we get the very large amber. And now we're essentially almost whipping his dick. Ah, now we can actually spank him. So give big boy a good spanking. Storm ruler only run the DS3. The storm ruler is actually pretty good. Really, it is. It uh, you actually need repair powder, <laughs> believe it or not, in in Dark Souls 3, repair powder in Dark Souls 3. But uh, the storm ruler, don't underestimate that weapon. It's actually a really good weapon. And it has absolutely no uh, stat requirement, so any uh, build can use it. Exactly, only the, the durability is really bad. So, should I... No, you know what, we'll just... Uh, the other giants will just do that later. So, let's see how much damage we do against the Iron Golem. Oh, that's not so bad. I was expecting a lot, a lot less. Of course, we are at uh, 40 decks now, so... Wow, that's actually good damage. I mean, uh, given the Iron Golem's very high defenses. I was definitely expecting a lot less. Of course, I don't know how much poise damage we do, uh, or... How exactly that works anyway, when it comes to getting him to, uh, to uh, start wobbling. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't even matter. We, we can simply kill him uh, without making him uh, fall off. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't stagger yeah easily this way. But as I said, it doesn't even matter. Oh there, there he goes. Yeah. Nice backflip. <laughs> okay, good. What about the 100% equip load run? I think that's just really, uh, really tedious. <laughs> Durability of Storm Ruler is like any weapon in DS2. That's definitely the case. 
By the way, in Demon's Souls, the durability of the Storm Ruler was also extremely low. Okay, yeah, if you uh, look at it like that, given that I'm at uh, the highest amount of decks, uh, well, be, well, technically you can go uh, get to 99, but that's not much of a difference. In that sense, it's not that much, but still, it's more than I expected. The poise of the whip is the same as a dagger, really? Oh, that's uh, that's really bad. Uh, no uh, fat exile. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'd be pretty staggered if any tiny uh, human kept whipping my crotch for five minutes. That was for five minutes, but yeah. I don't know if he uh, if he likes uh, getting his crotch whipped. I mean, I don't judge. There's actually a bug in DS2 that makes your equipment degrade faster the higher your frame rate is. So, does that mean that in the in the PS4 version, your weapons degrade faster than in the PS3 version? Because that just sounds really stupid. <laughs> Bro, just get the stone ring. Yeah, in Dark Souls 2, that's one of the best rings, if you ask me. Oh, by the way, I... Uh, I don't think I actually... Yeah, I still have Quilak's soul. I wanted to give it to Fran, but I forgot. <laughs> because I constantly forgot, uh, forget uh, stuff. That's one of the reasons I never got into speedrunning, because I'm just way too forgetful. Hey, another bot. Can one of the moderators take care of that? Are you left-handed in real life? No, I am not. I am not. Well, I am good with my left hand, because I'm, I play guitar. And guitar playing is all about the left hand. The bot heard all this whipping crotch nonsense. Yeah, I think so. Makes sense. Fortress. Uh, okay, a little bit of dex. Yeah. If I endurance, I mean. Just not enough, but that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> guitar streaming when? <laughs> I don't even appear on camera, so no. Yeah, I play guitar. I, I'm in a, in a band. I've been in a band for over eight years now, I think. I think we started in 2013. It's like eight and a half years or whatever. At least very long. Yeah, DS1 guitar run. Yeah, I think Lobos Jr. did that. But I don't have mods, so yeah, that's a shame. I'm a I'm a proc uh, metal uh, guy. So if you wonder what kind of music my band makes, we uh, basically make progressive metal. You know, uh, complicated 10 minute uh, songs, that kind of stuff. I'm not going to say that because I, then I'm uh, going to dox myself. So I understand that you would want to know that, but then I'm uh, doxing myself in uh, <laughs> in a sense. <laughs> you clearly do Latvian folk uh, music, of course. Hey, come on, fall off. Yeah. Since when do the uh, since when do, do these guys have functional uh, AI all of a sudden? That's better. <laughs> Progressive polka metal. Why not? Uh, 
Okay. I wonder if these guys are also depressed or that, uh, whether they are just really cl clumsy or something. Either way, uh, sounds uh, fine with me. <laughs> Do you get offended or mad being called German? Yeah, that's, that is kind of a thing for Dutch people that they get offended if uh, if they get uh, if they are compared to Germans. I mean, uh, Germany is our favorite enemy after all. Sir Alan or Artorias, which boss do you like better? <laughs> I guess because uh, Alan gave me uh, gave me PTSD in my uh, in my uh, SL1 Nuke of 7 Broken Straight Sword uh, run. So I would say Artorias. Both are awesome boss fights, but Artorias is just a little more iconic. No, Belgium uh, is not our favorite enemy. Belgium are the people we make fun of. We literally have a have a category of jokes that are Belgium moppen. <laughs> so jokes about how dumb uh, Belgian people are. Yeah, Dutch people are very nice. They <laughs> have functional AI in my From Software game. That's he heresy, exactly. That's just like uh, that. Elden Ring basically has to have clipping issues, otherwise it wouldn't be a From Software game. I mean, in a, we don't want clipping issues, but how can we even tell if it's a From Software game if it doesn't have clipping issues? Oh, whoa. Speaking of clipping, that lightning didn't hit me, even though visually... That didn't really make sense. It basically clipped through me. That was weird. I guess I should be glad about that, but it's well, it, it is weird. Oh, nice. Uh... I need him to fall off. Now this is not good. Okay, now I'm fucking up. Crap, delicious. Yeah, maybe a whip is not uh, that suited for uh, for parrying. <laughs> I actually wanted him to fall off, but he didn't. That's a shame. Do you guys play spoopa and eat pieces of pee? That is a, that's a family guy joke, but is that like Denmark or Sweden or something? How long does it take to edit a video on average? Very long. I never keep track of the amount of hours, but uh, 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 editing a video takes <laughs> way longer than recording the footage. Kick, yeah, you cannot kick uh, Silver Knights. They just stay in place when you kick. Do you like stroopwafels? Absolutely. First time catching uh, one of your streams. I'm currently in Anna Londo in my first DS run, and it's crazy how fast you're going through this. Lol. Well, I this did uh, die just now, so I didn't make it through in one attempt. <laughs> That's a shame. What was your favorite challenge one that you recorded? Woo, that's a... Uh... Wow, that's a good question. I... Whew. I don't know. <laughs> that's a good question. Whew, I would have to think about that. I definitely very much uh, enjoyed uh, the No Stamina run in Bloodborne that I did uh, quite recently. But what is my favorite? Woo. Hard to say, hard to say. The people know I just do feel the yappen? What, what, what's that again? That's from Friesland. Feel the yappen. I kind of forgot what that one even was uh, supposed to be. By the way, uh, in case you guys don't know, and I think you guys don't know, there is a part of uh, the Netherlands called Friesland, which is almost like its own country in a sense, because they have like their own language, so to speak. 
So when you go to Friesla uh, Friesland and they speak Fries, you hardly can understand what they're saying. It's like its own uh, language. Fuck. The camera angle is not very good here. Well, that works too. He didn't fall off, but we got past it. I'm from Friesland, <laughs> really? So, what is uh, Filiaven? Is it Patat or Friet? <laughs> uh, Friet, but that's because I'm from the south. Oh, that's jumping over us. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is sloot in, uh, in uh, English? Actually, I don't know what slope means in English. It's like a... <laughs> like a, a really extremely tiny river. <laughs> Do you plan on keeping the fab and wolfing to the end? I can't really think of a specific uh, replacement. Not even the hornet ring, because uh, you cannot repost uh, Gwyn in this uh, run. Have you ever tried Code Vein? Uh, yes, I have made a level 1 uh, guide on uh, Code Vein. Didn't do all that well, but uh, I think a lot of uh, Souls fans didn't even play uh, Code Vein. But I've played Code Vein. So if you want to know my uh, detailed opinions on that game, then you can watch that guide. Basically, I uh, liked a lot of the boss fights in that game. Some were terrible, but uh, a lot of them I liked. I did not like the level design. I think that was the weakest part of Code Vein. The level design, they definitely, they tried to copy uh, Dark Souls in a lot of things. They should have uh, copied uh, the level design a bit more, because the level design in Code Vein is garbage. Oh, fuck. Oh, by the way, I need to actually get some more Estes. Well, only 10, but you know. Because I think I'm going to have a little bit of a hard time with this weapon against the ONS, so let's kindle the bonfire. I need one more humanity for that. Cathedral of Blood is bad. Yes. Yes. I 100% agree with that. Did you send skip? No, I did not. There was no reason to. By the way, you cannot send skip with uh, the web <laughs> because you cannot repost. <laughs> Yeah, they they very much uh, based the cathedral on uh, Analando, but uh, holy crap, the cathedral of blood was absolutely horrible. So Code Vein, that definitely the level design is the weakest part of that game. They made some cool boss fights, also one of the worst boss fights I ever encountered, namely the blade bearer and cannoneer, which is like. Uh, like they really tried to copy Ornstein and Smo, but they failed on every possible way they could to fail. That boss fight is absolutely an example of one of the worst boss fights I ever encountered in a game. Code Vein has a sort of poison, well not really a poison swamp, but a, a, a Blight Town like area. Oh, I forgot to put one more humanity to Asus. Oh. No, I didn't. I have 10 Asus. Oh, whatever. Oh, that's not very good damage. Oh, fuck. And that's, <laughs> that's, that's battle damage. Thank you, Wolfring. <laughs> Let's just tank a hit, because Orns... Oh, okay, let's not tank that many hits. Whoa, that was not good. I got really greedy there, because I thought... Hey, Smo is uh, far away. Just let, let's just tank a hit to get one extra hit in on Orns. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's uh, not be uh, so reckless.
Whoa, fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh fuck, ooh. I was way too slow there. Should not have done that. <laughs> Not smart! Okay, and now I'm just fucking up. Well. I said that a little sooner. Than <laughs> okay, that was not good. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it's not the best damage, I must say. Especially because we can't buff it. Yeah, shame. Favo snack van de snackbar. Uh, Frikandel speciaal? I mean, is the... Oh, pff. I mean, the Dutch cuisine is absolutely terrible. Dutch food is... Probably one of the worst examples uh, of any... Basically, any uh, food from any country. But if you... Uh, if you ever come to this country, then at least you should have a Frikandel speciaal. Oh, pfft. nice start. <laughs> Olibola. Is that specifically uh, Dutch, by the way? Actually, Olibola? Is that not... Other countries don't have that? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Burukol. But that's also typically Dutch, but... Oh, fuck. Damn it, why do I miss that? Oh, <laughs> so I, I framed the attack, but uh, I still got wolf. Huh? Okay, that was weird.
Ah, fuck. Ah, acceptable. I don't think I really need to emphasize this, but I don't recommend using a whip on Lord CSMO. It's not really the best weapon. Got almost very greedy there. I thought I could get the final hit and then I couldn't. Okay, quick. That's better. Okay, now things should be fine. <laughs> it's not the best at anything. Yeah, that's kind of true. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know how well the crossbow uh, fares in this fight. At least you can stay at a distance, so that's something. A broken whip run. Yeah, in Dark Souls 2 you have the old whip. And that one just breaks after, I don't know, uh, six attacks or something. It's pretty crazy. But it does have like a very high damage output. So maybe if you use like, uh, well, if you use like the, the bracing knuckle ring plus two and have a lot of repair powders, then maybe that whip can actually be good. But I do know that it breaks in like a few attacks. Oop. Ah, fuck. Oh, that's not smart. Oop. Careful, careful, careful. But to be fair, I don't think I ever really used uh, whips in Dark Souls 2 either. Or in Dark Souls 3, by the way. I just never use whips. They are in Elden Ring as well, by the way. Who knows, maybe power stancing whips will be good in Elden Ring. Who can say? Well, given how important shields are, uh, or how, uh, well, important is maybe not the right word, but how Elden Ring seems to be a lot, of, focused a lot around uh, shields this time. Power stancing, power stancing may actually be not that great. Still, it's fun that they at least uh, included as a, included it as an option. Especially power stancing bandit knives or something. That sounds really cool. I mean, great for runs that are about uh, status effects. Like two poison daggers or something, power stancing. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, there's a flail in, uh, in uh, Elden Ring. I'm very curious about that one, because that is a new weapon type. After all, there's, there's never been a flill in uh, any of these games. 
from what I understand, flails were actually hardly even used in the in real combat to begin with, but I'm quite curious about that. So I expect it to be a pretty poor weapon, but who knows? I think the flail is a dex weapon. Could be. Oh, yeah, bleed and poison dual wield. That sounds also pretty cool. Patches, I think he has been confirmed that he is in the that he is in the game. Press, I tried to open the door with the bonfire with Sunbro inside, but it says I have to open from the other side. Huh? No, uh, Solaire is at the bonfire. If you uh, followed his quest line, then at the bonfire, that's where Solaire is. So Sunbro is not... Uh, 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 Onionbro, he is in one of the other rooms. They have to go uh, via the roof. And he is then, uh, he is, um, if you then go down the stairs, then that's where Onion Bro is. Yeah, Bleed and Poison Dual Wild, that also sounds pretty cool. Sauron build is now possible. There's like an eye uh, weapon or something. Eye spell. Flail is Bonk Whip, yeah, basically. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to. So I'm very curious about uh, the flail in uh, Elden Ring. My expectation is that they, it will not be that great. That's my expectation at least. But who knows? The onion... No, I don't think Onion Bro is going to be in Elden Ring. I really doubt that. First time finding you. How's the run been uh, going so far? It's going uh, fine. Uh, the whip is... <laughs> the whip is... Okay-ish. It's not a great weapon, but... Uh, it's also not that much of a challenge run. Of course, against uh, ONS it was... Uh, a little... Uh, little awkward. Okay, I'm dumb. I confused Sauron with the Witch King. There's like a Witch King or, uh, type of uh, armor in Elden Ring. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Just do wrong warp and end this. I've never even performed uh, the wrong, wrong warp. I don't even know exactly how it works. Can you even do that on console? Because I actually don't know that. Oh fuck, I forgot to pick up... Ah shit, I forgot to pick up Hevel's armor. So I have to go back to Alan Londo uh, later on. If I want to... Uh, because I probably need it against the uh, four kings. Shit. Completely forgot about that. Yeah, I'm so forgetful and when I'm streaming it's, uh, it's always worse. <laughs> there is Pot Buddy, yeah that's true. Pot Buddy. I'm very cu curious, I believe he's called Alexander or something, but Pot Buddy, he sounds cool. <laughs> I like feeding uh, Framed uh, Dunk Pies because he gives a lot of souls for that. Actually that's like a way of uh, banking souls in a way, because he gives the exact amount of souls back that you, uh, uh, that you need to spend to, uh, you know, to buy them from that merchant. So basically you can, uh, in, in a sense, by buying uh, Dunk Pies, you can, like, uh, bank souls in that way. Well, the merchant uh, sells more than just, uh, just Poopa. Um... I think what I should do now is first get the very large ember, so we're going downwards. I still don't have all the chunks. Oh, I need to go back to Andalondo anyway for the, the chunk on the... I still need three, what the hell? Oh yeah, the rubbish, 
The one on the terrace and the one giant. Okay, so I need actually quite a bit more. Uh... Well, anyway, but let's first get uh, the... Oh, but actually it would be helpful to get... Uh, to have Hevel's armor to get through the ghost house. God damn it, why am I so forgetful? It's really annoying. In that, uh, in that case, let's first get back to Analondo to... Uh... To get the Titanic chunk and uh, Hevel's armor. Will you do Elden Ring challenge runs? Are you excited for Elden Ring? Yes and yes. Very much. You're getting old press. Yes, I know. Maybe that's why I'm, uh, I'm getting senile. Maybe that's the issue. Oh, and by the way, you don't have the same type of shortcut to go back to Havel's uh, set. Also nice. Oh, by the way, you do have a sort of shortcut. Is there no way to jump back? No, I don't think there is. So I will just go uh, through here. Wow, oh, oh fuck, that's the one with the spear. That uh, that has different ter uh, parry timings than the uh, one with the sword. Ah, oop, okay, that... That's not good. That was a block. I mean, I know he's holding a spear, but oh yeah, he's yeah he is blocking. He's attacking from behind his uh, shield. But visually, that doesn't really look like that. Oh, I have no idea how uh, many hours I'm going to uh, spend in Elden Ring. Lots and lots and lots. I also have no idea how many hours I spent in Dark Souls, so... But I shit on. Simply put. Oh, I actually don't even have to kill him. Yeah, the Moonlight Greatsword has been confirmed. Oh, boo -boo, fuck. The Moonlight Greatsword has been confirmed for uh, Elden Ring. And patches as well. But I really doubt that uh, the Moonlight Greatsword is going to be easy to find and easy to acquire early on in the game. That's probably going to be a, a, a very well hidden uh, endgame weapon. Remember that in uh, Bloodborne it was in the DLC. So, who knows? Yeah, <laughs> upwards of irresponsibly many hours. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Dying is confirmed in Elder Ring. Oh, really? Okay, now we're here anyway. Let's uh, get to the giant blacksmith to get uh, the final titanite chunk that we need. Uh, not even the final one, but at least one of the... <laughs> One uh, of three that we need. Huh? What the fuck? Why is there a summon sign there? And that's a weird... That's a, a white summon sign? What the fuck? Touch the sign of the Gravelord Servant. Wait, am I Gravelorded or what? I don't even know how, the me how that mechanic works. Oh, and another bot. Oh, always nice. Yeah, the crafting system. I'm not a really that big of a fan of uh, crafting, to be honest. But who knows, maybe there are going to be a whole uh, bunch of uh, very interesting type of uh, consumables. Yeah, so I'm apparently, apparently I'm being grave lorded. Isn't that that you have like extra enemies in the game or something? Like uh, red phantoms? What's with the swastika in chat? What the fuck? What do you mean swastika in chat? Oh yeah, really? There's a there's a guy 
called absolute with a swastika, or is that the Hindu symbol? Dude, absolute. What the hell is up with your uh, profile picture? I don't think that's meant to be the Hindu symbol. That looks like an actual swastika. Oh, grave loading can only happen in uh, in New Game Plus. I didn't even know that. It's like a PFP, bro. What the fuck? I think that can actually get uh, uh, can get you banned. Uh, absolute. It's complex though, well, uh, getting banned is not very complex, so... Okay, so that, oh wait, it's, <laughs> there's one hiding on the right side here. So can I hit him through the wall? Oh yeah, I can. So one time the clipping issues actually are in your favor. I, it's still very hard to hit him through the wall. Oh, he fell off. That's the weird thing about these guys. They have wings, they can clearly fly, but when they fall off, they fall to their deaths. It's a weird principle. I hear Bloodborne is going to appear on PC, you hear that like every few months, uh, it's never going to happen, I don't believe that. Uh, oh wait, I cannot... Uh, I need uh, the large ember first of course, the very large ember. And be at Andre. No, Bloodborne is never going uh, to, PC, to PC. <laughs> it will eventually when we have PS4 emulators. Yeah, okay, that uh, that may be that may be true. Okay, now I at least have Hevel's armor. So let's go get the very large ember. So at least now we can get uh, easy uh, through. Oh, the rubbish. Yeah, but that uh, is along the way towards the Titanite slab. You know where? But because we need to get back to the asylum to kill the straight demon for the Titanite slab. Oh, and I also have to kill the final uh, giant in Sense Fortress. Fortunately, he is at the start, so that's good. All right. At least as long as, I've, uh, as long as I have the Senior Curse uh, active, I can at least uh, poise my way uh, through uh, through the Ghost House, because we, yeah, we know what happened. Hey, disasters are gone after the defeat. Okay, but I did not de defeat a Gravelord Servant. Okay, I don't really understand how that mechanic works, to be honest. Press just found the whip by accident. Oh, okay. That can happen. Yeah, <laughs> hollow tree lizards. Oh, really? I thought only dark raves could uh, drop uh, titan slabs. Yeah, who the hell is grave lording in 2000 uh, in uh, 2022? Yeah. Oh, someone else did. Okay. Huh. Interesting.
So if you are in the Gravelord Covenant, uh, you can easily get invaded or something. And when so someone invades you and kills you, then that undoes, or that undoes what you uh, did in another player's world. I mean, I don't really understand uh, the mechanic that well. But I suppose that's uh, how it works. Now I should be able to uh, tank my way through this. Unlike in my uh, Bonefish uh, run where I didn't have Transient Curse active and I got completely stunlocked despite my Hevel's armor. Yeah, it gets. Oh fuck! Yeah, it still uh, didn't work. That's also because of my stamina bar. Well, I guess we'll just be fighting then. <laughs> I don't run out of Estus. You never know if you get all of them, because they can come from any direction. I mean, that's not even from software's clipping issue. They really are intended to move through walls. <laughs> oh boy. Well, at least we made it through. All right, I'll just uh, keep him alive, of course. <laughs> we humbly request that you do not think too hard about how killing ghosts works. Yeah, that's a good point. Did you check out the Bloodbond D-Make? It looks uh, dope. Yeah, it looks really cool. It's uh, unfortunate, but completely understandable that it's not uh, the complete game. But they did... Uh, um, uh, they did add, the, add uh, you know, extra content to it. So it's not uh, like a complete point-by-point uh, point, uh, remake of the original uh, first parts of the game. But I think it has also to do with copyright. That's also why, uh, why uh, it is uh, a free uh, download. Because if you charge money for it, you can uh, get in a lot of trouble. Now I'm not going to fight the four kings yet because I haven't fought uh, Sif yet, so it's not even possible. Yeah, no PS1 orphan of course, yeah that's a shame, but yeah, that's what it is. Uh, absolute, uh, if you want to stay in the chat, I, uh, sub uh, in general, not even stay in the chat, you should uh, completely uh, change your profile picture. Otherwise, I'm very, uh, very much inclined to uh, just uh, simply put you on the ban list. You know what? I'm going to do that anyway. So, sorry, absolute. Or actually, I'm not very, very sorry about that. But I put you on, uh, I put you on the ban list because I do uh, not appreciate your profile picture. And I think you should uh, be able to understand that. I don't easily ban people, but come on. I think that is completely justified. <laughs> yep, exactly. Ban hammer has spoken. Uh, 
Oh wait, my transient curse is probably uh, probably wore out. Oh fuck, yes, exactly, because I'm getting immediately staggered. Oh, by the way, I can actually drop down here, I think. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> it's too high. That, that's, that's not how it works. Oh fuck, I think there's actually a ghost in front of... He oh no, no, it's not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, now I should have reapplied... Fuck, I should have reapplied uh, Transient Curse. <laughs> fuck, well, at least now the shortcut is open, so that's fine. Yeah. All right. Okay. We can actually take half his armor off, but as long as I... But actually, I sh um, I'm not sure actually if there's a, a ghost uh, in front of the elevator when you come uh, from this direction. I will just see what happens. Dragon Slayer bow only run? That's in Dark Souls 2. You mean like the... No, that's this Dragon Rider bow. The Dragon Slayer bow is that like one of the great bows. I don't think I really ever used uh, one of those great bows. Can we uh, drop the, the whole Nazism and uh, communism thing? You know what, that's not, let's just not talk about any ism. Isms are always a problem. Hey, Scent of Cheese, uh, well, thank you for becoming a channel member. I appreciate that. Oh, by the way, for the people who didn't know that yet, because it's relatively recent that I have that option, but I now have uh, channel memberships. So if you want to support the channel and you can you can actually get uh, some uh, channel exclusive uh, emojis, uh, very applicable emojis I must say, for that. So if you uh, like to support the channel, then you can uh, become a member. Don't kill the ghosts. Well, technically they're already dead. So how can you kill them? Uh, just just to be safe. Because I think, yeah, exactly. There's a ghost in front of the elevator when you come from this side. Elden Ringism. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, okay. The only, uh, there's only one uh, ism that's allowed uh, on this channel, and that is masochism. And I guess sadism on your part. But that's the only ism that's allowed, masochism. Yeah, putting them to rest, that's more appropriate when it comes to the ghost, I think. So we're actually doing them a favor. <laughs> Poopa is. <laughs> yeah, Poopa ism. That's, that's another good ism, of course. <laughs> Okay, so now we need to warp to Undead Paris and we can finally at least uh, get our whip higher than plus 10. But I still need, of course, the Titanite Slab and I need to kill the giant in Analando, uh, Analando in Sense Fortress. That uh, should be next on the list because we're here anyway. Did you get the black level set? I... But yeah, yeah, I did. You know, the thief set. Okay, so yes, two titanite chunks. One is from the the giant that I'm now, now going to kill. And the other one is from the rubbish that I can trade with the crows. Since we have to go there anyway. You know, to get the titanite slab. 
I, re I begin to regret my decision to magic only Blighttown. You have a particular problem with magic in that uh, area then? I guess uh, if you... Uh, if you cannot lock on to enemies, that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> have you played Morrowind? Yes, very much so. That's where my character originated, in fact. But that was back in 2003. Wow. It's quite a different time. Spent quite a bit of time in Morrowind, I must say. And I spent a lot of time whiffing, because the combat in Morrowind is all about standing right up against an enemy and just attacking and you just constantly miss. It's a bit of a downside, I must say. <laughs> it's the regular upgrade path, Liam. What is your favorite final boss in any game? Whoa, I don't know, F favorite final boss. I do have to say that Gil, uh, which is essentially a final boss, I think. Is definitely a worthy uh, final oh, final uh, boss of the entire franchise in uh, the, at least the, uh, the Dark Souls trilogy. Or if you uh, think that's not uh, fair to call it a final boss, Soul of Cinder is also exactly what the final boss of uh, Dark Souls uh, 3 should have been. I mean, and uh, when it comes to Dark Souls 2, I like Nishandra's uh, uh, design, uh, you know, how she looks. She looks like a final boss, but that fight is just a little bit, uh, yeah, a bit, uh, bit on the meh side, unfortunately, mechanically. A moral whiff. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right. Love your videos, Paul M. Thank you, Paul M. I appreciate that. Okay, one more, so now we're going to... Oh, but by the way, I can level up now. Secret best girl? No, uh, what's the other... Uh, Secret. That's, uh, that's his daughter. I don't think anyone has ever called uh, uh, or said that Secret were the soul's waifu. Also, I don't know how old she is supposed to be, so let's uh, be careful about that. Yeah, it is Seek Meyer in DS1, and it is Seek Word in DS3. Yeah, Wolnir is not really uh, the example of a very good boss from Dark Souls 3. But Dark Souls 3 definitely has one of the... Uh, definitely has far better uh, bosses than Dark Souls 2 has. In fact, even uh, better than Dark Souls 1, if you ask me, in general. You must marry one of the Soul Series level up waifus. Who do you pick? Mm. Either the doll or Maiden in Black. Yeah, I think so. What is the hardest challenge one you ever done in your opinion? I don't know. That uh, it's hard to say. I have to say that a lot of my NES uh, NES uh, challenge runs were definitely among the hardest. Uh, defeating Torch Hollows, that's also... <laughs> that's also hard. Hardest Souls challenge would probably be either... Yeah, I think DS2, uh, SL1, uh, Nuka Plus 7, Broken State Souls without stat boosting gear. And also uh, Sekiro without deflecting and uh, without taking damage. That was also <laughs> really hard. Oh, Mary Bonfire. <laughs> Bonfire is the hottest. Uh, is definitely the hottest uh, level up waifu. <laughs> I'll marry a doll. <laughs> yeah. 
Moon present stand. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Have you done uh, Blood Moon Torch only? No. Actually, I don't. Sounds like it would be an interesting run. Well, uh, DS2 SL1 Nuclear Plus 7 is already... Oh, fuck. Uh, the hollows here. Uh, is already very powerful, uh, painful. But doing it with broken straight swords and without stat boosting gear, so with 6 ADP. That is what made it so incredibly painful. The Doll, Maria, and Maiden in Black all share the same voice actor, actor. That's true. Although I think that the Doll and the Maiden in Black sound very different, even though it's the same uh, same voice actors. I mean, the Doll doesn't have that same accent that uh, Maiden in Black has. A shame from uh, scraped. <laughs> I scrapped the Mimic Bonfire enemies. Yeah, that sounds... Uh, hey, who knows? Maybe there will be Mimic uh, Lost Graces in Elden Ring. Who knows? That is such a troll move. You're like, oh, you're finally at the next checkpoint. You're always dead. You're like, oh, I made it. And then suddenly you get... Oh, fuck. Oh. And suddenly you get eaten by your checkpoint. <laughs> what killed you? The checkpoint killed you. That is such a dick move. Oh, that's, that's true. That's actually a flill, but it's more of a whip. So... I think that the flill that is in Elden Ring is like, uh, you know, like uh, one of those uh, Morningstar type flills. You know, like a ball and chain. But the difference between a whip and a flail is not that... Uh, there's not that much difference between it. You say a bonk whip, that's basically what a flail is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, actually, I don't really like that the main... Oh, you yeah, know, but then, then the doll is my uh, waifu, because uh, main in black is uh, has bare feet, so... And that's not a good thing. It's cute, that, that, that is definitely true. Same with Priscilla. Priscilla looks adorable, because she's bare feet, but... I know that a lot of you have different opinions on bare feet in that sense. And that's not a good thing. Come to think of it, I can basically just uh, hold a bone back now. I don't really need the crash shield, I think. Yeah, I could actually use it in... Ah, uh, fuck it. Doesn't matter. Well, I should... Yeah, exactly. I shouldn't really uh, complain about fetishes when I'm uh, whipping everything in this game now. Okay, we finally have a whip at plus 15. Very good. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to uh, clear our way to the to the DLC. And then I think that's a good place to end, uh, end the stream for today. So once we reach the DLC, and then we'll start with the DLC and the rest of the game uh, tomorrow. And then we'll finish the play for tomorrow. And then two days after that, an Elder Ring. Or should I already buy? Yeah. Nah, we're going to the DLC first. So let's uh, go and kill the Hydra. No idea how the whip is going to perform there. I guess, given that we have some extra reach, that uh, the heads would be... Relatively easy to hit. And I can still block if I simply two-hand the shield, so... Should be uh, doable.
<laughs> the last giant feet. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, we're definitely doing a lot more damage than uh, when we started to run. You know, uh, when we first attacked uh, those uh, plant enemies. We hardly did any damage at all. But now we have a fully upgraded whip. And we have uh, 40 decks. So this is as powerful as our, as our whip is going to get. So 373 AR. But of course, no, uh, no buffing. Formless Odin, best waifu. Yeah. Queen of Yarnum, yeah. Well, I say it's not even Queen of Yarnum, it's Queen Yarnum. That's literally her name. Because Yarnum is a city named after her. She's a Femero queen after all. It's a good thing that there's friendly fight, or whatever, however you want to call it. Between uh, the Hydra and the Golems here. Or maybe we'll actually do good damage. Oh, we'll do good, good damage against them. Makes sense. Now we're at uh, 15 uh, and 40 decks. Well... Oh, let's not fuck up, because that water can actually kill me very quickly. Oh, that's actually good damage. Who would have thought? <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe I should block instead of rolling. <laughs> That's not bad. The whip is not bad against the uh, Hydras, I must say. Uh, I think I just bumped against the floor or something. That was weird. Okay, one more hit. Uh, oh, that's that's harder to hit. Okay, let's move a little bit more to the left. Yeah. Oh, huh? That didn't count as a hit. What the? F ah, what the hell? I missed twice. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, I don't want to fall off. Okay, now I can't hit them anymore. Okay. Right. That worked. To the left, to the left. Is that like a Beyonce song or something? Hey, we don't uh, do pop songs in uh, on this channel, right? <laughs> Yeah, the, that's true. The illusory wall in Sans Fortress is the only illusory wall that you cannot roll through. You have to attack it. No idea why that is, but... Beyonce's Guide to Bloodstarved Beast. Well, actually, I tend to go right on the Bloodstarved Beast, but it doesn't really matter. It's just, uh, yeah... As long as you side strafe. Oh, it's Rihanna. I don't know. I don't know, uh... I don't know pop music. And it's a good thing. 
you know what? Maybe I'm actually not going to do uh, the Duke skip, and then I can uh, can get uh, Dusk's uh, outfit and the uh, Maidenhood. And that way I'm a maiden from the hood, or something, I don't know. Will it be illusory walls in Elden Ring? Probably. Hey, Amber Hernandez. You say this uh, for two months. Can't stay uh, long at work, but good luck. Yeah, thank you for... Uh, I think you actually extended your membership, because, yeah, you have uh, the symbol already for the... You already were a member, so you extended your membership. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's actually pretty good damage against the uh, Golem. Oh, I really want to spank uh, Princess Dusk. But I can't, because that will... Uh, uh, maybe I will kill her, and then I cannot get to the DLC. Shame. Yeah, uh, quickly spank her. Yeah, uh, shame. What a shame. Yeah, I want to spank, but it's not possible. Yeah, I don't want to lock myself out of the the DLC. But uh, by the way, after we kill Manus, that's the, uh, then we can freely spank her because she's on the floor anyway. So we can easily take advantage of that. <laughs> Stop circle strafing, it's not fair. You just got it. Yeah, especially during a second phase. If you strafe uh, left, then you can avoid basically... Uh, the only thing you have to avoid is this uh, jump attack. So you need to summon her right and then go back to there, uh, to uh, uh, there in the back. And then that's where our outfit should be, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you can use a dark enter on her. That's an interesting one. All right. Um, I think this is all you need to do. Maybe you need to do another save quit. I don't really remember, to be honest. Planning on stealing zero land is drip. Wait, uh, the dust outfit? That's a pretty common uh, thing, I believe. Oh, it's already there. You don't even need to do a save card. Oh, that's nice. Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth is my uh, waifu in this game. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't have uh, the maidenhood yet, so I'll just go for the thief mask. And now we need to broke a broken bandit, of course. So we go to uh, to Sief. Uh, Sief's uh, the Duke's archives. By the way, how much... So oh, okay, I can level up now. <laughs> Visions of spank. <laughs> yeah, I have a peculiar community. I know that, uh, Ravi. <laughs> when do we get the sexy face reveal? Uh, I have absolutely no idea. Hey, there are benefits to uh, having uh, some... Uh, and, uh, and, uh, okay, now, let's see if I can pronounce that word. Anonymity on the, the internet. Makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, Chuck has some scar symmetry on his jaw. Oh, yeah, definitely. Hey, you have good taste, uh, Mavir Dorin. Gotta love some, uh, some scar symmetry, absolutely. 
harm reveal. I actually already have a hand reveal in one, uh, one specific video, but it's a video that almost no one has seen. It's one of my least uh, viewed uh, videos. Yeah, that's not a lot of damage, but I kind of expected that on these enemies. Hello guys, hey, hello Paul Marat. Hey, another uh, Scar Sympathy fan. So there are people in the chat who have some uh, some good uh, music days, at least. <laughs> have you ever played the flute? No, I've never played the flute. When I was in grade school, I played violin. <laughs> and I now play uh, guitar. For Actually, I played guitar since I was 17, I think. 16 or 17. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now I get played by uh, this boar. But I, uh, other than that, I've never played uh, any other instrument. Whip the hog. <laughs> Fellow former violin, uh, bro. <laughs> well, it's a very long time that I play uh, when I played uh, violin. Uh, did you play Bloodborne? Uh, no, uh, all uh, in Z, all in Z or whatever. No, I've never played Bloodborne. It's, uh, I've n I never even heard of the game. Never even heard of the game. No experience with the game whatsoever. Ever played skin flute? Even if I did, I would not uh, tell you. Oh, you started uh, playing guitar when you were 18. Yeah, it's actually, it's, uh, it's a bit too uh, late actually for an instrument, right? But same for me. You should uh, start with an play, uh, learning uh, an instrument when you're young, but yeah, that's not how it turned out. Ow. Yeah, I got arrowed. Have you ever played Neon Rave? No, never even heard of it. And then now, I, now I'm genuine. <laughs> Since you are a prog metal guy, how do you feel about OPF newer stuff? Yeah, I actually... I used to be an extremely big fan of... I still, of course, am a big fan of OPF. But yeah, that change did definitely affect that uh, somewhat. It's still OPF in a sense, of course. It's, they still have their uh, unique OPF style. But I, yeah, it did affect me. I don't blame them at all for doing that. I mean, I understand that they wanted to go into a different direction. And again, it is still, it is still very much OPEF. But I'm much more fan of their old uh, stuff. Have you ever played Dark Souls? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you gotta love Michael Ackerfeld, absolutely. Great guy. <laughs> Passport for <reveal>. Bill. <laughs> Press doesn't want us to know about his band because he makes vocal out anime uh, songs. Sure. Yeah, exactly. That's the reason. Absolutely. Is there one more? No, there's one more. Okay, I have to be careful to not get magic in the face. Oh, there's, there is one more. Uh, whip it.
Are you a fan of per periphery? Uh, not specifically. I believe our previous drummer uh, actually, uh, well, not was not a big fan of uh, of that. Uh, yeah, and you know what? I'm not going to Duke skip, so let's just head towards the DLC instead of uh, going uh, further into the archives. <laughs> Have you ever played Demon Souls? Yes. No, I've never played a game before. This is the first. Nee, this is the first time I ever played any game whatsoever. How many souls like have you not played? Oh, whoa. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to count that. <laughs> Doesn't your Dark Souls character look like you? Uh, she's a little uh, too female. And I'm not a fanboy. And I'm not a fanboy, so. And I know I'm going to disappoint uh, a lot of people now by saying that, but yeah. I should be, because that actually uh, that uh, would uh, very much help uh, getting a new fan, uh, extra, or getting more fans. A very specific type of fan base, I suppose, but yeah. A gun only guide of Elden Ring, yeah. Elder Ring is going to have so uh, much variety, but the guns, I don't think there are going to be guns in that game. That's the uh, basically the only thing uh, from previous titles that will not be in Elden Ring. Hey, it's still possible at least. It's still possible that there are guns in that game, but I highly doubt it. It wouldn't really fit in that world, you know. <laughs> Fanboy souls. I want to do BL4, Nuke Plus 6 of uh, Bloodborne, but I'm ass. Yeah, that's uh, that's a rough ride. That is a rough ride, especially with uh, without Poorman Gems. I mean, doing it with Elemental Gems was far more difficult than with the Poorman Gems. Absolutely. I have a beard. At the moment. Thoughts on the Neo games? I've done uh, videos on both uh, the first Neo and Neo 2. Favorite game that is not a Souls game? Ooh, that's difficult to say. I definitely, I, I always have been a very big fan of the Metal Gear series. Of course, that series is uh, over. I don't think it's ever going to return, you know, with all the... The problems that uh, actually ca also caused um, MGS5 to not even be really complete. It still was a really good, uh, so uh, really good uh, Metal Gear game. Oh, <laughs> Beard Reveal, yeah. Enter the Gungeon, no, never played it. <laughs> Roblox. <laughs> yeah, Metal Gear, uh, that series basically has been put to rest, I uh, suppose. And I definitely don't want uh, Konami to. Uh, to do that all by themselves, because then you get something like Metal Gear Survive. I have done Ace Combat, uh, yes, exactly, but uh, that is the series that basically got, I think, the least views of every any series I've ever done on the channel. But I, I, that was definitely a very memorable playthrough. And I don't know Project Wingman, so... I uh, I have done Sekiro uh, stuff, uh, Birdie Party. I have done uh, n uh, No Deflect, uh, No Damage. But other than that, I can't really think of anything uh, to do with that. Oh, and uh, uh, a bot at the end of the stream, because this is actually going to be the end of the stream. This is a good point to end, and then tomorrow we're going to uh, continue with the rest of the game. You know, the DLC, and then uh, we have the Four Lord Souls and Gwyn. Maybe if there's time left, we can do like Gaping Dragon or Priscilla or whatever, but we'll just see how uh, quickly that's going to be. Basically, an Ace Combat, uh, an Ace, Ace Combat 
game as made by Ace Combat fans. Okay, never heard of it. What time is it started? Uh, tomorrow at the same time, so that's uh, 8 p.m. Uh, CET. So whatever that is in your uh, time, you have to do the calculations yourself. All right, then I'm going to end the stream here. So thank you all for being here. And tomorrow, same time, and we're going to uh, finish this stream. And then it's uh, oh, and then after that, it's only two more days until Elden Ring. Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? So thank you all for being here, and uh, yeah, I appreciate uh, you guys. You guys are awesome. A bit weird at times, but you know, it's the way it is. See you tomorrow.